एंड वेरी वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट चैनल बाई जू सिक्स सेवन एंड एट माई नेम इज कृति एंड टूडे वी आर बैक विथ अनादर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो आज एन एस ओ पेपर डिस्कशन होने वाला है नाइनो ग्रेट सेवन स्टूडेंट्स यू बीन आस्किंग कि मैम सिक्स का हो गया एट का हो गया हमारा चांस कब आएगा सो टूडे इज योर डे इफ यू स्टिल You know, if you get to give your NSO exam, जो भी होना है दिसंबर में तो प्लीज फटाफट से पेन पेपर के साथ तैयार हो जाइए क्योंकि ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन होने वाला है बहुत अच्छे क्वेश्चन है बहुत अच्छा एक्सपोजर मिलने वाला है आपको क्वेश्चन बैंक का एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन जो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू क्वेश्चन पेपर से आया हुआ है सो आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू एक बार फटाफट से मुझे ग्रीन सिग्नल दे देंगे दैट एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग फाइन Quick, quick thumbs up in the chat. Let me know if you can see me, hear me. सब बढ़िया चल रहा है. Yes. जल्दी से. Good evening, good evening, all of you. Yes, बिल्कुल grade seven students आज, you know, अपने thinking caps के साथ तैयार हो जाओ. You have to think out of the box. It's a very important session that's going to happen now. See, I'll tell you one thing. If you've already appeared for this test, हो सकता है कि आपने already exam दे दिया हो. अगर ये case है, आप already दे चुके हो, then let me tell you. ये आपको नॉर्मल स्कूल एग्जाम में भी हेल्प करेगा ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन द नॉर्मल स्कूल एग्जाम एज वेल जो आपने सीबीएसई के लिए अपने स्कूल में एनरोल कर रखा होगा मे बी फॉर सम अदर बोर्ड एज वेल सो नन द लेस इट गोइंग टू बी अ ग्रेट प्रैक्टिस सेशन सो सिट बी रेडी बी अटेंटिव बिल्कुल अच्छे से एक एक क्वेश्चन को एनालाइज करेंगे आंसर करेंगे लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग इट्स नॉट जस्ट केमिस्ट्री दैट वील बी डूइंग हम केमिस्ट्री करेंगे फिजिक्स करेंगे बायोलॉजी करेंगे लॉजिकल रीजनिंग वी विल बी कवरिंग एवरीथिंग टुडे सो पावर पैक सेशन होने वाला है टेक्स्ट बुक में जो हमने पढ़ा है आज हम वो नॉलेज अप्लाई कर देंगे ताकि हमारा एग्जाम बहुत अच्छा जाए आई यू ऑल रेडी यस आई कैन सी लॉर्ड ऑफ ग्रीन थिंग्स इन द चैट ग्रीन हार्ट ग्रीन सिंबल ग्रीन सिग्नल मिल रहे हैं वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस यू ऑल आर रेडी तैयार हो अच्छा किस किस को पोल चाहिए सो माई लाइफ बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल द क्वेश्चन हाउ मेन इफ यू वॉन्ट की यस मैम पोल चाहिए मैम प्लीज क्योंकि पोल से हमें पता चलता है कि एक्चुअली में कितने बच्चों को समझ आ रहा है कि नहीं यू वॉन्टेड एक्साइटेड अरे एक्साइटेड हो तो फटाफट से लाइक कर दो जल्दी से सेशन को लाइक कर दो क्योंकि एज आई टोल्ड यू बहुत ही एनर्जी से भरा हुआ नॉलेज से भरा हुआ प्रैक्टिस सेशन होने वाला है एंड टॉकिंग ऑफ प्रैक्टिस बच्चा देखो जितनी ज्यादा हम प्रैक्टिस करेंगे ना उतना ज्यादा हम कॉन्फिडेंट फील करेंगे उतनी ज्यादा हमारी स्किल्स इंप्रूव होगी बट ये ये पता कैसे चलेगा कि कैसे पेपर्स अटेंड करने हैं ये जो टाइमिंग है ये तब होगी वेन यू सिट एंड सॉल्व मॉक पेपर्स द स्पीड द नॉलेज एंड एक्सपीरियंस यूल गेन बाई सॉल्विंग मॉक टेस्ट इज एक्चुअली समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू जब आप एक्चुअली अपना रियल एग्जाम देने जाएंगे सो so, उसके लिए जल्दी से वॉट विल वी डू वी विल क्विकली डाउनलोड दी एप वी विल एक्सप्लोर दी एप यू विल नोटिस कि सब्जेक्ट वाइज भी आपको मॉक टेस्ट मिलेंगे एन एस ओ आई वो हर चीज के ऊपर बहुत सारे प्रैक्टिस पेपर्स रेडी हैं ये एग्जाम देना स्टार्ट कर दो ताकि एग्जाम रेडी हो जाओ और एग्जाम रेडी होने के लिए मेहनत तो करनी पड़ेगी पर आई होप यू ऑल आर रेडी फॉर दिस हार्ड वर्क ये आई यू ऑल रेडी क्या सब तैयार है इस हार्ड वर्क के लिए लेट्स सी सॉरी मैम आई मिस लेट टू डे नहीं वी आर जस्ट गेटिंग स्टार्टेड बस स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं वी ऑल हिट द लाइक बटन फटाफट से लाइक कर लिया नहीं किया तो जल्दी से लाइक करेंगे नहीं अभी तक ऐप को एक्सप्लोर किया तो क्या कर रहे हो यू लूजिंग आउट ऑन अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी क्विकली डाउनलोड सी हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट थिंग्स यू हैव दे प्रैक्टिस पेपर्स मॉक टेस्ट एवरीथिंग इज दे Unless and until you will sit and appear for a test, how will you be exam ready? Exam ready होना है, बिल्कुल होना है. Tension हटानी है, दिमाग से बिल्कुल हटानी है. Confidently paper देने जाना है. Yes. So take these steps. Okay. फटाफट से आप download करेंगे. And coming to the subjects we'll be covering today. As I told you, हम chemistry की बात करेंगे. We'll start with chemistry. Then we'll also have physics. We'll have logical reasoning. We'll have biology. We'll have all the subjects covered in this one video. We will be solving the entire paper end to end. Be ready with a pen and a paper. You will be requiring it for some of the questions. And take each and every question to be a challenge. हर एक question जो है आपके लिए challenging होने वाला है. 
कुछ ऐसा चैलेंज आपको लगेगा अरे ये तो बहुत ही मासूम सा क्वेश्चन था बट कुछ ऐसे क्वेश्चन जो आपको फोर्स कर देंगे सोचने के लिए कि ये क्वेश्चन जो है ये अगर एग्जाम में आया तो मुझे इसको डील कैसे करना है और वही डीलिंग हमें आज यहाँ सीखनी है वही पैटर्न हमें आज यहाँ पे अच्छे से समझना है आई यू ऑल रेडी यस सो राइट आफ्टर केमिस्ट्री यू विल हैव फिजिक्स डोंट वरी ओके कैन वी स्टार्ट मैम मेरा मैसेज आ रहा है क्या यस आई कैन सी द मैसेज ऑसम Yes, you will have a lot of practice test by juice the learning आप पे बहुत कुछ मिलेगा डाउनलोड तो करके देखो करे स्टार्ट करे क्विक थम्स अपन वी गेट स्टार्ट विद केमिस्ट्री एंड चैप्टर्स जरा दे ना देर सो इंटरेस्टिंग मुझे तो एक एक क्वेश्चन बहुत ही ज्यादा आई वुड से मैनेजेबल लगा डूएबल लगा आई वोट से सारे ईजी थे सारे क्वेश्चन ईजी नहीं थे बट सारे टफ भी नहीं थे इट वॉज अ गुड मिक्स ऑफ यू नो अ वराइटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन करे केन वी गेट स्टार्ट विद Very good, Manoj. My name is Kriti. Okay, start career, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ready, ma'am. Let's get started. Are you all excited? If you're excited for chemistry, let me see chemistry with you know hearts in the chat, and then I'll tell you what the first question is. चलिए. पढ़ा बच्चा अरे वाह बहुत सारे हाथ साले start हो गए for chemistry. Awesome. Yes, we will be covering biology. We will be covering physics as well. We are just getting started with one subject. That's it. Awesome. So there you go. First question is there, and the poll is also there. Poll, I have given you in the chat. Chuki hu. A few substances of daily use are listed in the given box. Okay. Before I read the question, you you see question number twenty one here because serial number, jo aapko chemistry ka dikhega actually me question paper me wo twenty first se start hai. But since we are doing the chemistry segment first, so we are starting with this question. Okay, so they've given you six substances. You have to figure out that what acid is, that it is basic. Hey, are acid base is a pure, a simple, a question. They have given you a colorful chapter, a colorful question. A masoom, a first question chemistry has come. In this, there is no mistake. I mean, that's that's what I am hoping for. जल्दी से देखो ध्यान से देखना ध्यान से देखना आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल ऑफ दीज पर आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू बी वेरी केयरफुल बिकॉज राइट नाउ इफ आई लुक एट द पोल आई एम गेटिंग मिक्स ऑफ आंसर्स मिक्स ऑफ आंसर्स क्यों दे रहे हो डोंट डू दैट डोंट डू दैट ध्यान से सोचो सी फॉर एवरी सब्सटेंस जस्ट फिगर आउट वेदर इट्स आसिड को बेसिक बार यही करना है बस इस क्वेश्चन में सिंपल सा क्वेश्चन Very good study channel. Base is going to be better. करे poll end करे देखिए what do we will have marked? Okay, I will be giving you poll for most of the questions, not for all, for most of the questions. Wherever I will feel कि हाँ यार यहाँ पे हो सकता है कि you know you give a slightly different answer, mix of answers आ सकते हैं वहाँ आपको poll मिलेगा to actually see कि क्या variety है. चलिए पोल एंड कर दिया है मैंने लेट्स लुक इट द रिजल्ट 51 परसेंट ऑफ यू मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू मार्क द करेक्ट आंसर दैट इज ऑप्शन सी लेट्स सी हाउ चलो स्पिनिच में ऑक्सैलिक एसिड होता है तो ये क्या हुआ एसिडिक ठीक है बेकिंग सोडा सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट इट्स अ बेस इट्स अ बेसिक सब्सटेंस ठीक है बेसिक सब्सटेंस है ब्लीचिंग पाउडर कैल्शियम ऑक्सीक्लोराइड ये भी क्या है बेसिक सब्सटेंस है उसको भी मैं बेसिक कर देती हूं ठीक है ये भी क्या है बेसिक नेचर है ना फ्लोर क्लीनर जनरली क्लीनर्स जो होते हैं उनमें अमोनिया प्रेजेंट होता है अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड विंडो क्लीनर फ्लोर क्लीनर तो ये भी क्या हुआ आपका बेसिक हो गया डिटर्जेंट देखो इसकी हिंट है सोप्स एंड डिटर्जेंट्स में ना बेस प्रेजेंट होता है ठीक है सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड तो ये भी क्या हुआ बेसिक हुआ एप्पल में क्या है मालिक एसिड तो ये क्या हुआ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एसिडिक ठीक है नाउ बेस्ड ऑन दिस इसके पूरे एनालिसिस के बारे में पता चलता है कि फर्स्ट एंड सिक्स जो सब्सटेंस है वो एसिडिक है फर्स्ट एंड सिक्स एसिडिक है सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ 
क्या हुए बेसिक करेक्ट आंसर क्या हुआ ऑप्शन सी ठीक है चलिए मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई एम गिविंग यू द पोल यू रीड द क्वेश्चन गिविंग यू द पोल फॉर दिस वन आई होप मोर देन फिफ्टी वन परसेंट विल गेट दिस वन राइट नाउ देखो एक भी सब्सटेंस का नेचर अगर गलत देखा आपने तो प्रॉब्लम ये होगी कि ऑप्शन गलत मार्क कर दोगे बच्चा ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज फिगर आउट द नेचर ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल सब्सटेंसेस दैट्स इट ओके चलिए मेंटी कब होगा 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 सून आलिया इट्स वर्किंग एब्सोल्युटली फाइन बच्चा एक बार रिफ्रेश करिए रीना जस्ट द नेचर यू हैव टू सी ओके चलिए वेन डायग्राम आपके पास है नाउ एक्स कैन बी वॉट ओके विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन है आप ये जो सर्कल है ये स्लो चेंज दिखा रहा है ये फिजिकल चेंज ये डिजायरेबल चेंज एक बार तो पहले इनके मतलब समझते हैं क्या है स्लो चेंज दैट है मेरी स्लोली नेम इज सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी फिजिकल चेंज जिसमें कोई भी न्यू सब्सटेंस नहीं बन रहा नो न्यू सब्सटेंस इज फॉर्म डिजायरेबल चेंज इज अ चेंज दैट वी वॉन्ट कि हाँ हो जाए चाहते हैं हम ये चेंज हो जाए ठीक है नाउ यू हैव टू टेल मी वॉट इज एक्स एक्स इज दिस रीजन इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑल द थ्री सर्कल्स विच मीन्स जो एक्स हमारा होगा इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ स्लो फिजिकल एंड desirable change now out of all the options given to you which change do you think is a slow physical and desirable change jaldi se answer mark kar denge chaliye very good i can see some 70 plus votes already fatafat se tum logo ne answers mark kar di hain so i am going to end the poll and let's see if you mark the correct answer easy peasy what What if we just do? A lot of you marked option A. But the growth of plants is a chemical change, isn't it? It's a chemical change. We wanted, we wanted to figure out what X is. X. ध्यान से देखेंगे. जिस region में X आ रहा है, वो तो physical change का भी part है ना? है कि नहीं? Growth of plants क्या है? Chemical. Twenty-eight percent of you have marked the correct answer. ठीक है ग्रोथ ऑफ प्लांट्स केमिकल था राइपनिंग ऑफ फ्रूट्स भी केमिकल है बर्निंग ऑफ कैंडल भी केमिकल है तो ये तीनों तो वैसे ही रूल आउट हो गए क्या बच गया हमारे पास वी आर लेफ्ट विथ ड्राइंग ऑफ क्लोथ्स जो एक स्लो प्रोसेस है फटाफट तो कपड़े सूख नहीं जाते टेक सम टाइम है ना फिजिकल चेंज है बिकॉज नो न्यू सब्सटेंस इज बींग फॉर्म एंड ऑफकोर्स इट्स अ डिजायरेबल चेंज यू वॉन्ट द क्लोथ टू ड्राई नो ओके सो ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर हैव यू अंडरस्टूड वे यू मेड अ मिस्टेक एवरी Quick thumbs up in the chat. It's okay if you are making mistakes as long as we are learning to read and understand the question. That's the catch. We need to know how to read and understand the question. Quick thumbs up. Awesome. So good to see that you people are learning from your mistakes. Charlie, I am going to give you the poll for the next one. Meanwhile, you read the next question. ये भी ध्यान से करेंगे. बहुत कुछ information है इसमें. ओके, इन केस यू आर अनेबल टू रीड वॉट गिवन हेयर आई एम रीडिंग इट आउट फॉर यू पहला स्टील स्पून है सेकेंड इज कॉटन कॉटन बॉल थर्ड इज अ ग्लास जार फोर्थ इज थर्मोकॉल एंड फिफ्थ इज वुड वुडन ब्लॉक ठीक है मैंने सब लिख दिया है आपके लिए so in case you were unable to read i've written all of these for you compressible opaque hard sinks in water you can see the ticks and crosses right now figure out ki in mein se incorrectly classified kaun se hain incorrectly something that's incorrect wrong see it's very important to read the question carefully otherwise kya hoga aata hua galat kar denge hum that's not what we want right Ma'am, I just went to drink water, but 23 questions are done so fast. No, no, bacha, we started with 21. We are on to the third question, but yeah, this this comment was very funny. <laughs> you people are so sweet. So I we started with you know the chemistry portion that begins with the 21st question. Okay. 
मैम कंप्रेस मीन्स कंप्रेस मीन्स प्रेशर अप्लाई करोगे तो वॉल्यूम कम हो जाएगी ओके मैम स्क्रीन वॉज ब्लोरी सो दैट्स वाई आई गिवन यू आई रिटर्न ऑल ऑफ दीज कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं मेंटी कोड इट्स नॉट अ मेंटी इट्स नॉट अ मेंटी एवरी वन चलिए लेट्स एन द पोल लेट्स सी वॉट यू पीपल हैव मार्क्ट अरे मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू कुड फिगर आउट ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर चलिए देखते हैं स्टील स्पून को हम कंप्रेस कंप्रेस मतलब अगर मैं उसको दबाने की कोशिश करूं मैं क्या उसको प्रेस कर सकती हूं नहीं कर सकती ओपेक है बिल्कुल ओपेक है वी के नॉट सी थ्रू स्टील स्पून हार्ड है बिल्कुल पानी में सिंक कर जाएगा बिल्कुल तो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट क्या हुई बिल्कुल करेक्ट थी हमें तो इनकरेक्ट बताना है सेकंड कॉटन बॉल को कंप्रेस कर सकते हैं कॉटन बॉल को ये कह रहे कंप्रेस नहीं कर सकते बड़े इट सो सॉफ्ट कैन बी कंप्रेस इजीली यही पे गलती हो गई सेकंड इज इनकरेक्ट ठीक है तो हम सेकंड तक आ चुके हैं बाकी पढ़ने की जरूरत ही नहीं है सेव योर टाइम ठीक है नाउ कमिंग टू ग्लास जार ग्लास जार कंप्रेस कर सकते हैं नहीं कर सकते ओपेक नहीं है बिल्कुल नहीं है ओपेक ट्रांसपेरेंट ही होता है हार्ड है सिंक कर जाएगा पानी में यस, yes. ठीक है करेक्ट कमिंग टू थर्मोकॉल थर्मोकॉल इज से कंप्रेस कर सकते हैं हाँ कर सकते हैं ओपेक कह रहे हैं कि थर्मोकॉल जो ओपेक नहीं है अरे थर्मोकॉल ओपेक होता है तो यहां पे गलती होगी आगे पढ़ने की जरूरत ही नहीं फोर्थ इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट वुडन ब्लॉक को कंप्रेस कर सकते हैं नो ओपेक है यस हार्ड है ये सिंक्स इन वॉटर नो इट डिंक इन वॉटर इट फ्लोट Incorrect. So there you go. Okay. So this is how we have to figure out. So option C is the correct answer. Now next one is a super interesting concept, super interesting question. Read the question. Meanwhile, I'm giving you the poll in the chat. Okay. So I'm trying to give you poll for each and every question so that you know you also enjoy marking the answer. There you go. What's happening in this question? Let's see. Okay, there is a flask and there is a stirrer, mixer, glass stirrer in it. Okay. Us flask may already water hai. Okay. We are adding some acid to it using a beaker. Now we have four statements here and you have to pick up the incorrect statement. Incorrect, jo galat likha hai. Large volume of acid should be added to a small volume of water slowly. Figure represents the process of concentrating dilute sulfuric acid. Process involves release of large amount of heat. Water should not be stirred. Now I can see only 10 to 15 votes because you're taking time. I'm sorry, ma'am. I am late. No, bacha. We've just started, but do watch the initial three, four questions that we've already done. Okay. Oh, Samjhuti, all the best. Yes, Raza. Uh, Yogita, master your logical reasoning because that is very scoring, okay? Everybody is saying... Ah, everybody is saying A, A, A. Race between A and C. Nobody is voting for B or D. A, C, A, C. Yes. Hey, Radha, thank you, Vacha. Yes, Dhawal, I can see you. Oh, most of you think that the answer is A. Chaliye, dekh lete hai. If you people are right or not. Ending the poll and 52% have marked A, but the correct answer is option C. Chaliye dekhte hain kaise. Pehli baat to yaha pe term humme samajhna padega diluting ka matlab kya hai. Diluting basically means, let's say we have an acid. Okay. And now, Water is being added to it. Okay. In some way, we are adding water to it. So, whatever is happening over here is some way dilution. Now, the ideal way of diluting is that we take a beaker, we add some amount of water to it. Okay. We have beaker, we have water. We have water. Initially, the beaker is containing or the any container is containing water first. And then you add the acid drop by drop very slowly with constant stirring. So what is that substance that we are adding later? It's acid. We are adding acid drop by drop, not suddenly, not drop by drop with constant stirring, with constant mixing. 
Why are we doing it this way? Because this reaction is highly exothermic. Now what is the meaning of exothermic? It means a lot of heat is released. When water and acid, they combine a lot of heat is released. Okay. So the statement number three that we have over here, process involves release of large amount of heat. This is absolutely correct. Okay. Now let's analyze the other equations. Large volume of acid should be added. No. I said drop phase acid needs to be added. Incorrect. Figure represents the process of concentrating dilute acid. No, 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 no. It's dilution that's happening. Water should not be stirred already. Nahi. Glass toot jayega. Keep stirring. Okay. Incorrect. So 1, 2 and 4 are incorrect. That means option C is the correct answer. Very good Shelly. Yes Raza, I just did that. Awesome. Thank you Reena. So sweet of you. Swishti, more and more of acid. Okay. But here, water is being mixed. Okay, that is dilution. Chali, next question. Let's have the poll in the chat. Meanwhile, you know what to do. You have to read the question and you have to give the correct answer by marking the correct option in the poll. Look, with poll, you have to give a little bit of patience because I'm trying to give you really quick but Thoda time lag sakta hai. Haan ji, chaliye. When is for grade 8? Grade 8! An association is done. It's there on the channel. Explore karo. That's what I keep telling you. Explore the channel once. You'll find literally everything there. Okay. Chaliye. Read the given statements and select the correct option. Statement 1 says breaking of a glass is irreversible physical change. Statement 2 says when a glass tumbler breaks, chemical composition of glass does not change. But the pieces cannot be joined back to get the original tumbler. Now you have to figure out which statements are correct, incorrect, is it the correct explanation or not. Can I say for this one I want at least 70% of you to get the correct answer. I mean out of the entire set of questions that we will be discussing this is the simplest one. Simplest. Bilkul bilkul simplest hai. And I am not even giving you a very high target I am just saying 70% plus. Oh, Catherine, our bad bacha. But don't worry, you'll have so many more Olympiads happening. No? So you can keep watching these videos. They'll definitely help you. Chaliye. Ending the poll to see if you've marked the correct answer or not. 65% of you have marked the correct answer option A. Physical matlab, no new substance is formed. Irreversible matlab, original glass tumbler jo hai, it cannot be obtained once we've broken it, okay. Breaking of glass is irreversible physical change, bilkul. Koi naya substance nahi bandha, glass toot ke bhi glass hi hai aur ab hum usse wapis original form mein nahi la sakte. Statement 1 is correct. When a glass tumbler breaks, composition does not change. Yes, it does not change because the pieces cannot be joined back together. The explanation is also absolutely right. So option A is the correct answer. Okay. Good, no? Awesome, all of you. Chalye, next. Again, a very interesting question. Observe the given figure carefully and select the correct statement regarding the solution X. Okay. Now, okay, I'm not giving you a poll for this one. You can quickly let me know in the chat. Magnesium ribbon is being born. Okay, and then we get some ash when magnesium burns and we've added that ash to water. Magnesium is burning. Some ash is being produced. So when ma magnesium burns, some ash is produced and we've added that to water. Now you have to tell it will turn China rose indicator to green. Methyl orange will show yellow color. Solution is magnesium hydroxide which is a base. Blue litmus paper turns red in this. So you have to pick up the incorrect statement. Incorrect. Are, the chat is flooding with the correct answer. Ma'am, just lock option D. Dekh te sahi ho ki nahi ho. Kya ho raha hai? Pahle magnesium ko burn kara. Toh hamara kya ban gaya? Magnesium oxide. So this is the ash that is being formed. And now we are adding it to water. 
what will be formed magnesium hydroxide and hydroxide means it's going to be a base so solution x is magnesium hydroxide this statement is true ठीक है बेस आ गया हमारे पास क्या आ गया हमारे पास बेस आ गया चाइना रोज विल टर्न ग्रीन बिल्कुल वो डार्क पिंक होता है एसिड मैन इट्स ग्रीन एंड बेसिक सोल्यूशन करेक्ट मिताल ऑरेंज विल शो येलो कलर बिल्कुल सही इट्स येलो एंड बेस रेड एंड एसिड दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ब्लू लिटमस टर्न रेड इन दिस सोल्यूशन अच्छा ये एसिडिक थोड़ी है सो ब्लू लिटमस विल रिमेन ब्लू दिस इज इन करेक्ट सो ऑप्शन डी इज गोइंग टू बी इन करेक्ट इट विल रिमेन blue i think from acid bases we've got very easy questions hai na chaliye next question match the columns and select the correct option from the given code so you've got sodium bicarbonate acetic acid aluminum chloride sodium chloride nitric acid and you have to match them with the correct chemical formula okay fatawat se kya lagta hai iska answer oh let's not write songs in the chat come on Yes, Rajputi. Hey, Charan. Hey, Supriya. Hey, Vadal. Kaju Gatli question. Masoom question. Yes, it's a very easy question. Everybody is saying, ma'am, it's D for this one too. चलिए देख लेते हैं. Sodium bicarbonate is going to be NaHCO3. Acetic acid is. Let me write one here and one there. CH3 COOH, ठीक है एल्यूमिनियम क्लोराइड इज गोइंग टू बी ए एल सी एल थ्री नेक्स्ट वीव गॉट सोडियम क्लोराइड एन ए सी एल ठीक है देन वीव गॉट नाइट्रिक एसिड दैट इज एच एन ओ थ्री सो आई रिटर्न द करेक्ट आंसर्स ये एक है जो आपको कहीं नहीं दिखा दिस इज सोडियम कार्बोनेट ठीक है सो द ओनली ऑप्शन दैट इज मैचिंग विद दिस वन इज ऑप्शन डी सी एवरी वन केमिकल फॉर्मले लेट्स से आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सोडियम क्लोराइड सोडियम इज एन ए क्लोराइड सी एल एन ए सी एल ओके चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट्स ट्राई दिस वन नाउ फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन बेसिकली वॉट यू हैव टू डू वीव गॉट सबसेंसेस पी क्यू आर एन एस सम ऑफ दम आर सोलिबल इन वॉटर सम आर नॉट सम आर मैग्नेटिक इन नेचर सम आर नॉट सम आर ओके दिव गिवन द साइज बाय लेटिंग यू नो अबाउट द क्रिस्टल साइज ओवर योर यू हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट सेपरेशन मेथड टू सेपरेट आउट ऑल ऑफ दीज कौन सा सही है शुड आई गिव यू फोल फॉर दिस वन इट्स कंपेरेटिवली अ लॉन्गर क्वेश्चन आई क्विकली गिव यू अ पोल चलिए मीन वाई कीप रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन सी आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव यू पोल फॉर मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन नॉट फॉर ऑल सम ऑफ देम आर टू इजी ओनली वेर आई फील दैट आई गेट वेराइटी ऑफ आंसर आई गिव यू अ पोल to see all those numbers here and there all right chalo jaldi se bio will happen see after chemistry physics will be there after physics biology is going to be there and logical reasoning bhi hai beech mein awesome awesome but answers awesome nahi aa rahe hain answers mix aa rahe hain awesome is the speed with which you have understood or not understood the question for that matter okay 51% have given the correct answer and i like how quick you were but The rest 50% percent or 49% percent did not give the correct answer. Let's see. Acha, ek baat socho. Me, agar if if I'm a student and I have to attend this question, the first thing I do is, we knowing given hai yahan pe or yahan pe. 
वेट की तो कोई बात ही नहीं हो रही लाइटर हेवियर पार्टिकल्स की कोई बात ही नहीं हो रही सर मैंने रूल आउट ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन बी रूल आउट ही कर दिया ऑप्शन डी देखो एक बार ऑप्शन डी में आपको कई मैग्नेटिक सेपरेशन दिख रहा है नहीं बट क्वेश्चन में तो है ना ये मैग्नेटिक का ऑप्शन डी भी रूल्ड आउट इफ आई हैव टू रियली मार्क द आंसर आई जस्ट गो बाय द एलिमिनेशन मेथड एंड मार्क ऑप्शन सी बट लेट्स क्रॉस चेक ओके सीविंग जब हम करेंगे तो क्यू जो ब्राउन टर्निंग्स है मतलब जो पीसेस ऑफ मेटल है और जो हमारा बिग क्रिस्टल है मतलब क्यू और आर हमारा सेपरेट आउट हो जाएगा सीविंग से ठीक है आफ्टर दैट क्यू और आर को हम फर्दर कैसे सेपरेट कर सकते हैं क्योंकि क्यू जो है वो अट्रैक्ट हो जाएगा मैग्नेट के टू वर्ड्स वी कैन डू मैग्नेटिक सेपरेशन एंड आर विल बी लेफ्ट बिहाइंड सो वी सेपरेटेड क्यू एंड आर नाउ वी आर लेफ्ट विथ पी एन एस नाउ वी कैन सी दैट पी इज सोल्यूबल इन वॉटर बट एस इज नॉट सो लेट्स एड वॉटर पी विल विल बी डिजोल्व पी डिजोल्व कर जाएगा एस को हमने फिल्टर आउट कर दिया एंड वी कैन इवेपोरेट वॉटर टू गेट बैक पी सो इवेपोरेशन so there you go isn't it this for grade 5 no no this is for grade 7 but yeah this question was comparatively manageable chaliye next question read the given statements and select the option that correctly identifies okay let's do this one together process of arranging two sets of yarn together to make a fabric is called knitting is it called knitting true or false in the chat right now just for the first statement what do you think is this true is this false Come on, everyone! Don't call, ha! Huh, don't call me a zebra. Yes, that's for the reactivity series. It is false. इसको हम weaving कहते हैं. ये तो weaving होता है ना? Two sets of yarn. Knitting में तो single yarn use होता है. ठीक है. Next one. Mohair is one of the expensive wools obtained from Angora rabbit. Do you think this is right? I mean, it's expensive. What is it obtained from Angora rabbit? What do you think? False, because we obtained this from Angora. Goat. During and management of silk worms for the production of silk is referred to as seri culture. ये क्या है? सही है? नहीं है? Very good. This one is true. See, we are taking care. We are you know rearing, manage कर रहे, raise कर रहे हैं appropriate temperature and humidity पे. So this is absolutely true. इसे हम seri culture कहते हैं. So false, false, true. Which is this one? This is option C. False, false, true. So there you go. C is the correct answer. Good one. This you people did really quick. Next, next is also very easy. You have to select the incorrect statement. Incorrect. Something that's wrong. Okay. Coir is obtained from fruit of kapok tree. Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of jute plant. Linen fiber is obtained from the stem of the flax plant. Silk is a natural fiber obtained from the cocoon of silk worm. This is. Direct a theory based question for all of you. Oh yes, a lot of uh, these questions. If you like, if you've done fiber to fabric in grade six, it will help you in grade seven. As it's helping you, I'm doing well. Thank you so much, all of you, for all the sweet comments in the chat. Yes, it's option A. That's incorrect. Coir, जो है वो outer covering किसकी होती है? Coconut की होती है, right? So this is incorrect. देर यू गो ऑप्शन ए वॉज इन करेक्ट जूट हमें स्टेम से मिलता है जूट प्लांट के लिए फाइबर हमें स्टेम से मिलता है फ्लैक्स प्लांट के सिल्क जो है वो ऑफकोर्स वी गेट फ्रॉम सिल्क वॉम इट्स अ नेचुरल फाइबर चलिए नेक्स्ट वन अरे बहुत सारे ट्रू फॉल्स क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल ऑफ देम आर सुपर इजी रीड द गिवन स्टेटमेंट एंड सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन दैट करेक्टली आइडेंटिफाइज एम एस ट्रू और फॉल्स लेट्स टू दिस वन टू गेदर अगेन सेवेंटी वन परसेंट ऑफ अर्थ सर्फिस इज कवर विद वॉटर डू यू थिंक Ma'am, I always use elimination method. Very good, Catherine. Is this true? Very good. Some of you are also drawing the blue planet. Correct. This is true. Process of seeping of water in the ground is called filtration. जिस तरीके से ground water recharge होता है, क्या उसे filtration कहते हैं? What do you think? Very good. This is also true. Seeping मतलब पानी का ground में चले जाना. और अगर ground में जाएगा तो of course जो underground water का level है वो recharge हो जाएगा. इसे हम infiltration कहते हैं. Okay, water table is equal at all the places. Is it equal at all the places? Water table is equal at all the places. Let's say I talk about a desert area and I talk about a beach area. 
वॉज वेरी गुड वॉटर टेबल टेल्स इज अबाउट द लेवल ऑफ अंडरग्राउंड वॉटर है ना हमें अंडरग्राउंड वॉटर का लेवल बताता है इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी द सेम इट्स गोइंग टू वेरी Bauri is a traditional way of collecting water. How many of you heard about Bauri? It's very common in Rajasthan. I mean, it's 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 an old way, traditional way. Hai. Very good. This is true. These are step wells, जो पानी को store करते हैं. So true, true, false, true. Which option is that? True, true, false, true. Option A. And the chart is flooding with the correct answer. That is option A. चलिए. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखते हैं आई होप यू ऑल कैन सी दिस क्वेश्चन आई गिव यू अ पोल फॉर दिस वन आपको देंगे पोल ठीक है स्टडी द गिवन फिगर केयरफुली एंड यू हैव टू फिल इन द प्लान आई एम गिविंग यू द पोल फॉर दिस वन दिस इज द लास्ट केमिस्ट्री पोल दिस इज द लास्ट केमिस्ट्री पार्ट ऑफ दिस ओके लास्ट केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन एंड देन वी हैव मेनी मोर टू कम We've got physics questions, logical reasoning, biology. सबको बहुत अच्छे से करेंगे तभी तो पेपर अच्छा जाएगा चलिए यू वर्ड अबाउट और या स्टेप वेल्स होता है ना पानी को कलेक्ट करने के लिए गुड वी इन अवेज वन टेल मी वी विल रिपीट इट फॉर यू ओके रेस्ट ऑफ यू ट्राई एंड सॉल्व ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ओके What is happening over here is in the first case copper sulfate is basically reacting with iron or iron ale is being placed in copper sulfate second one there is a reaction happening between baking soda and vinegar and the third one iron nails are basically placed you know there is water there is oxygen so you have to fill fill in the blanks Reena you have to tell me which question Oh, the figure is not clear. The figure is not clear. A lot of you are saying, "Ma'am, figure clear nahi hai." Let me tell you. Let me tell you the question part of this again. In the first figure, that is this one, you will notice that iron nail is being placed in copper sulfate. Second one is a reaction between baking soda and vinegar. Third one, iron nails are being placed in water. Okay. Chalo, let's solve this one together. I'm not ending the poll. I'm going to solve this one with you. Meanwhile, if you think that you know you can figure out the answer, then go ahead and do that. Okay, first iron is reacting with copper sulfate. Now tell me one thing: iron is more reactive than copper. So, क्या होगा? Displacement reaction हो जाएगा. Iron copper उसकी जगह से हटा देगा. और क्या बना देगा? Ferrous sulfate plus copper. ठीक है, दिस इज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन सेकेंड बेकिंग सोडा वॉट इज बेकिंग सोडा इट सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट यू नीड टू नो द केमिकल फॉर्मुल ऑफ सम ऑफ द केमिकल्स ओके ठीक है नाउ इट्स रिएक्टिंग विद विनेगर दैट कंटेन्स एसिटिक एसिड ठीक है क्या बन जाएगा हमारा सोडियम एसिटेट बन गया देखो आपको वर्ड फॉर्म में भी पता होगा तो चलेगा वॉटर एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वर्ड फॉर्म इवन इफ यू डोट नो द फॉर्मुल एम जस्ट राइटिंग द फॉर्मुले बिकॉज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू आज की मैम इसका क्या फॉर्मुला बट इवन इफ यू नो द वर्ड इक्वेशन दैट इज ओके थर्ड वन वी हैव इज आयरन ए अच्छा वॉट इज है थर्ड वन यू विल टेल मी एवरी वन फ्लट द चार्ट एंड टेल मी क्विकली वॉट इज है थर्ड वन आयरन नेल्स को पानी में रखा है इज इर अ नेम गिवन टू दिस प्रोसेस क्विकली आई एम लुकिंग एट द चार्ट वन वर्ड आंसर फटाफट से वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ममता वेरी गुड सृष्टि नथिंग नहीं मोहन कुछ तो हो रहा है यशु गुड पेपर फंस गया कहां पे अटोमिक स्टूडेंट करेक्ट ममता यश यश अगेन लिगी ऑसम ये रस्टिंग हो रही है क्या हो रही है रस्टिंग आयरन का ऑक्सीजन और मॉइस्चर से कॉन्टैक्ट हो रहा है वॉटर और ऑक्सीजन से तो क्या बन रहा है रस्ट विच इज एफ ई टू ओ थ्री डॉट एक्स एच टू एक्स एच टू मतलब इट बी एनी अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर रस्टिंग हो रहा है चलिए नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स अ डैश चेंज विल टेक प्लेस इन फिगर वन वॉट काइंड ऑफ अ चेंज इज टेकिंग प्लेस इट्स अ केमिकल चेंज वाई बिकॉज अ न्यू सब्सटेंस इज बींग फॉर्म 
we started with the iron and copper sulfate now we have copper and iron sulfate and the color of the solution changes to what i am ending the poll here now bahut time ji aapko answer mark karne ke liye theek hai 32% have given the correct answer chaliye we will come back to that solution color changes to what it changes to green hamara copper sulfate ka color everyone what's the color of copper sulfate copper sulfate is green 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 everybody is writing for iron sulfate what's the color of copper sulfate blue so copper sulfate is blue in color and iron sulfate is green in color they are asking you the color of the product correct chalo now in figure 2 that is this one dash reaction takes place kaisa reaction ho raha hai this is an acid this is a base what is the reaction between an acid and a base called fatafat everyone in the chat very good some people saying blue vitriol copper sulfate is blue vitriol yes what is the reaction between acid and base called everyone neutralization yes so the third blank is going to be neutralization a reddish brown substance is being formed so we already know what this reddish brown substance is it is rust that is fe2o3 dot xh2o now this x means that it can be any amount of water what's the nature is rust acidic basic random guess everyone what do you think rust is acidic rust is basic kya lagta hai what kind of a nature is rust having very good it's basic dekho bhai metal ki oxide hai iron metal hai na usi ki to oxide hai and metallic oxides are basic so chemical green neutralization then the formula and basic which is option b chemical green neutralization formula basic so thoda time consuming question tha but difficult nahi tha it had all the concepts together and with this we are done with the chemistry portion and now we will get started with physics so saurabh sir aapke favorite sir wait kar rahe hain aapke favorite questions ke sath taki ye jo aapki physics ki journey hai in so paper ki wo bahut smooth ho sake eva jaldi se mujhe batayenge ki chemistry portion kaisa tha bachcha bio hoga don't worry biology will also be covered फटाफट से पहले मुझे गिव मी क्विक थम्स अप इन द चार्ट इफ द केमिस्ट्री पोर्शन वाज सिंपल मैनेजेबल इंटरेस्टिंग यस हार्ड अरे डिफिकल्ट लगा कुछ बच्चों को फुल मार्क्स आएंगे अरे दैट इज सुपर कूल यार वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस ऑल ऑफ यू आई कैन सी सम हार्ट्स आई कैन सी सम थम्स अप केमिस्ट्री वाज इजी ओके No, not physics and weak at it. Are if you feel that you're weak, आपको लगता है physics में weak हो, then तो भाई बिल्कुल pen paper के साथ तैयार हो जाए क्योंकि Saurabh sir is going to join within a couple of minutes and he'll make all the concepts crystal clear for all of you. तुम्हें पता है you have attended his sessions ना इतने interesting में भी वो पढ़ाएंगे सारे आपके doubts clear हो जाएंगे ठीक है चलिए very good so we are just switching अभी हम switch करेंगे studios को तो just give us a couple of minutes. डोंट गो एनी वे स्टे ट्यून एक दो मिनट की ब्रेक ले लो फटाफट से हम वापस आएंगे एंड फटाफट से फिजिक्स के साथ सौरभ सर बिल्कुल तैयार है टू सॉल्व द रेस्ट ऑफ द पेपर विद यू आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट डोंट गो एनी वे स्टे ट्यून Yes. Hey everybody, welcome. I know, I know. Yeah, you are done with chemistry. Now it's time for physics and logical reasoning with me. I'm Saurabh. I hope you know me. I teach physics, and sometimes we do logical reasoning also, right? So let's begin. Chemistry was easy, if I'm not wrong, because I was watching your chat, Hena. You were you were doing pretty well. Hello, hello. Good evening. Delhi se Bangalore. Switch ho chuka hai, and I'm here. and after me will be will have ashwarya ma'am right physics mein meant nahi mane tha today this is not menti but don't worry we'll have youtube polls hello 
Ah, give answer fast. Okay, I'll try. You love physics, means you will enjoy. See, Olympiad again, I'll tell you. See, grade 8th session is done. It was on Monday. Grade 6 Olympiad session is done. It was yesterday. Today we have grade 7th and yes, we had to keep it a little early. We have switched to 7 to 6 p.m. because you will get up at 10 o'clock and we don't want that, right? So that's why. I hope it's good, right? So badia, badia se, we have all challenging questions. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, Pushali. Preeti, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Yes, hello, Charan. Electric current, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Suranj. Chalo, yes, Pranam. So, listen to me, they go. Again, I'll tell you the same thing. We have told this same exact thing to grade 8 students, also in grade 6 students. Olympiad ke andar, nobody is asking you to solve all the questions. Koi nahi bol raha, question karne tungo, hai? If you find a difficult question, feel, feel this inside you, ke yaar, isko nahi chuna hai abhi. I can leave this question. So throughout, whatever we do, I want you to gauge, sir, ye bhaari hai mere liye? Can I do it? I'll do it in the first go. Isko main round laga dunga ke baad mein karunga. Hai na? Hai? Right? So I'm not asking you to solve all the questions. Not even the exam is asking you that. Kya karna hai? We have to be smart about this, right? So each and every question will solve and you have to see Tum isko ek baar mein solve karne wale the. You are going to solve it at the instant or you are going to hold it for later or you are going to leave it. Hai? Yes! Aaj IMO tha. Aray, why, I hope it was good. Light se lag hai. Don't worry. Yaar. Light Itna mushkil nahi hai. Relax. Real NSO. This is real NSO. Paper. This is exact paper. Good evening. All right, everybody. I hope you have hit the like button. I hope if somebody is new, you have subscribed to the channel. And with this, let's start with the first question. Kya bolte ho? Question answer karke paper ko fasa diya. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good, good. Light hard hai. Nahi. Light hard nahi. I'm telling you. Light easy hai. Class 7 mein lagta hai. Sir, light mein bahut kuch hai. But don't worry. Itna mushkil bhi nahi hai. And you will see it. In, in, in Olympiad, light utna mushkil nahi aata hai. It's math plus light thoda sa. Right? Come on. Ekdam. Shall we start? Excitement, Josh, how's, how's the Josh? Come on, fada fada, Josh level check kar lete bhai. Kaisa lag raha tum loko? Feeling good? Expectation kya hai physics mein? Out of 10 kitna rahega? OP, nice, light is easy, very good. Yeah, never menti karenge, meo dost. Ye Olympiad hai, hai na? Hi, very high, bohut achche. Kal exam hai, all the best. Let's begin with the first question. Aur uske liye, I'll need my pen. Aray, pen kangi hai? Okay, chalo. Come to the first question. Question number 11th. Lekin physics ka first question. I'll give you a poll. Relax, relax. Aaj mein pure tayari ke saath aayon. I'll give you a poll. Take. Uh, la, la, la. Question padho jaldi. I'm waiting for you guys. Uh, 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 chalo, thik hai. Ye bhi kar lete hai. Last mein ye. Yes. The poll is active. Question bol raha ji. A ray of light R striking a mirror XY is shown in the figure. The mirror XY and PQ make an angle of 120 degrees with each other. What is the angle of reflection at PQ? You have four options. A, 40 degrees. B, 50 degrees. C, 90 degrees. D, 30 degrees. Kya lagta hai? Ye keval light ka question nahi hai. It's geometry also. Come on. Pendulum oscillation Oh, okay. But pendulum oscillations to light mein hai nahi. Yes? Catherine says C. Poll is active. You can answer. Come on. Hello, Manoj. Premi says A. Yashwan C. I'm telling you, it's not just light. But a simple question. Hai. And when you see this question, I want you to do it right there, right then. Okay? Isme wait nahi karna. Name. My name is Saurabh. Yes, Shelly Box. Sum of triangle. Good. Hello, Supriya. Come on. Can't understand. Srishti, I'll explain you. Bacha. Don't worry, don't worry. Aray, main samjhaunga tumko. Relax. Samjha nahi. Real NSO. Viji, real NSO ke liye we gave you a paper. Priti ma'am told you that there is a proper NSO paper on the app. It's free for you. Go and attempt it. Hai na? Aur real NSO ke liye we had to register. December 5 ko ek aur exam hai. Uske baad stage 2 next year aayega. Jiska humko nahi pata. Next year ke Olympiads ke liye registration will start next year. So we'll let you know. Pakka. Chalo, I think we have got enough time. Ab zara poll stop kare, dekh kya chal hai. Uh, uh, mock test. Siddharth, that test is good, huh? App e nahi mila. Sabriti, kyun? 
सी फोर्टी वन परसेंट ए थर्टी थ्री परसेंट बी ट्वेंटी वन डी इज थ्री अच्छा सी जीत रहेगा ऑप्शन सी एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एट पी क्यू अच्छा एक बात बताओ लेट मी जस्ट फिनिश दिस क्वेश्चन एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन यू विल मेजर फ्रॉम द मिरर और फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इट्स अ स्पेसिफिक नेम ऐसे कोई भी एंगल नहीं है है ना कोई रैंडम एंगल की बात थोड़ी हो रही है एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इसका प्रॉपर डेफिनेशन है राइट इट इज द एंगल बिटवीन द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे एंड द नॉर्मल करेक्ट यस अरे पोल चालू क्यों गया वी आर डन विद पोल ना ठीक है ये वाला पोल मैं हटा रहा हूं रिलैक्स बिकॉज वी आर ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी डिड द पोल ऑप्शन बी जीता था उसके अंदर सॉरी ऑप्शन सी जीता था उसमें आई इक्वल टू आर वेरी गुड हाँ नाइ अब सुनो 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 अरे सुन तो लो This is your ray. ठीक Can you tell me what is the angle of incidence here? Angle of incidence कितना है यहां पर सर यह है ट्वेंटी दिस टोटल इज नाइंटी मतलब दिस रिमेनिंग एंगल इज हाउ मच सर नाइनटी माइनस ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज सेवेंटी डिग्रीज वेरी गुड दिस इज सेवेंटी डिग्रीज नाउ रिफ्लेक्शन विल हैपन लेट से इट हैपन समथिंग लाइक दिस कुछ ऐसे हुआ ठीक सो दिस एंगल विल ऑल्सो भी सेवेंटी डिग्रीज बहुत बढ़िया What is this remaining angle, sir? Easy, ninety minus seventy. So this is twenty degrees. ठीक है. अब एक चीज ध्यान देना जरा. Don't you think this is a triangle, right? Sum of triangle, sum of angles of a triangle. कितना होता है? Sum of angles of a triangle is one eighty degrees, है ना? Sum of angles of a triangle is one eighty degrees, which means, sir, this angle will be how much? One eighty minus of भाई ये कितना है सर 120 ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी यानी कि दिस इज 180 एटी माइनस ऑफ वन फोर्टी मीन दिस इज 40 डिग्रीज ओ सर दिस एंगल इज इक्वल टू 40 डिग्रीज यानी कि फ्रॉम नॉर्मल व्हाट इज द एंगल ऑफ दिस रे नॉर्मल से इस रे का एंगल क्या है व्हाट इज द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस फॉर द मिरर पी क्यू कितना है कमॉन गुड इवनिंग अरा दिया यस चलिए बताओ Iron attracts magnet. That's true. Full mark. Very good, yeah, Rishu. Fifty. Very good. Ye forty hai. Sir, this will be ninety minus of forty. Means this is fifty degree. Means angle of reflection will be how much? Sir, fifty degrees. And that's why the correct answer is option B. Clear? Ek dam easy. Feeling good? I told you. Ye question light ka kam hai. मैथ्स का ज्यादा है दिस क्वेश्चन आई मीन इट्स नॉट एक्चुअली अ फिजिक्स क्वेश्चन आई मीन जस्ट वन लॉ वाज यूज्ड आई इक्वल्स आर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वाज ऑल मैथ्स क्या यूज किया हमने सर हमने ज्योमेट्री यूज किया सम ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स यूज किया ना सम ऑफ एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल करेक्ट 50 है भाई आंसर डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड श्रेष्ठ लिसन टू मी बच्चा नथिंग जस्ट चेक आउट व्हेन दिस रे मेक्स एन एंगल दिस विल कम आउट टू बी 20 ये आएगा 40 मींस फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल द एंगल इज 50 डिग्रीज तो दिस एंगल विल आल्सो बी 50 ना राइट बेसिक बेसिक लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एंड सिंपल सिंपल मैथ एकदम इजी क्वेश्चन करेक्ट क्लियर है जल्दी बताओ यस अतर तुम्हारे भी देखते हैं किसी बात कर रहे हो अंडरस्टूड क्लियर चलो कमा क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व भाई वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस एकदम इसमें आना चाहिए मेजोरिटी का चालू कर दू बोल रुक जाओ कर रहा हूं अरे रुको तो सही यू गिव द करेक्ट आंसर तब तक तैयार कर लो जस्ट गेट रेडी विद द करेक्ट ऑप्शन स्टार्टिंग द पोल यस द पोल इज स्टार्टेड कैथरीन से डी कॉमन ओके हु विल डू लॉजिकल रीजनिंग अगर इफ आई डू लॉजिकल रीजनिंग डू यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम यस यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन It's a diagram based question. There is nothing to understand. You try. Worst case, you will get a wrong answer. That's a good thing. I'll teach you then. कोई बात नहीं. हाँ जी. Come on. जल्दी बताओ. आप हमको नहीं देखते. क्या बात कर दी यार शैली बाबू. Come on. C D. ये इटालिक्स में कौन लिखा? अच्छा. अरे I saw your message. Yes. देखो यार. This is a very easy question. एंड ये तो क्लास सिक्स वाले पढ़ते हैं सी इन ओलंपियाड इट्स नॉट जस्ट योर सिलेबस इट इज योर सिलेबस प्लस योर प्रीवियस क्लास सिलेबस तो क्लास सिक्स का कॉन्सेप्ट दे आर इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट ये कमॉन हां जी डी 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 सी 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 
सी इवन इफ यू मेक अ मिस्टेक वेन आई टीच यू आई कैन प्रोमिस यू तुम बोलोगे सर तो ईजी था बहुत ज्यादा कम ऑन पोल नॉट अवेलेबल पोल इज अवेलेबल सी इफ यू कॉन्ट सी द पोल नो डू वन थिंग क्लोज द लाइफ चैट एंड ओपन इट अगैन यू विल सी इट ये अरे गिटार शॉर्ट वेलकम हेलो शीतल शीतल से डी कम ऑन चलो ठीक है आई एम गोइंग टू एंड द पोल नाउ एंड कर दू आई होप यू हैव आंसर आई एम गोइंग टू एंड इट नाउ और वॉट डू वी हैव गॉट 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 ऑप्शन डी इज फिफ्टी फोर परसेंट श्रेयांशी आई वॉन्ट यू टू लिसन वेरी केयरफुली एंड टाइपलेस फर्स्ट लिसन टू मी डोंट पैनिक बिकॉज यू आर पैनिकिंग राइट नाउ इट विल नेवर हेल्प यू लिसन वेरी केयरफुली तभी फायदा होगा राइट वट एम आई सेंग Which figure correctly shows two iron nails hanging from a bar magnet? If I give you this, if let's say this is one bar magnet, right? This is north and this is south, and there is a pin attached to it like this. You tell me, this will become what pole? A magnet will attract an iron pin. That's true, but the 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 portion which is Closer to South Pole. That will be what pole? कौन सा पोल बनेगा वो कम ऑन यस ये वाला पोर्शन दिस दिस पोर्शन विल बी विल बिकम विच पोल नॉर्थ साउथ लाइक पोल्स दे डोंट लाइक ईच अदर लाइक पोल्स बोलते हैं मेरे सामने नहीं आना गो अवे गो अवे एंड अनलाइक पोल्स दे से पास आके बैठो दूर कहा हो तुम है ना कम क्लोज अरे यहां बैठो वहां वहां क्या कर रहे हो यार तुम इधर आओ राइट सो अनलाइक पोल्स दे लाइक ईच अदर अनलाइक पोल्स अट्रैक्ट so if the pin is attracted to the south pole means the end closer to the south pole becomes the north pole ye banega north pole means the other end will become a south pole is this much clear is a small concept yes come on over listen are is this small concept clear right the end which gets attracted to the magnet will gain an opposite polarity magnet ke south pole pe agar chipkega to ban jayega north agar north pe chipkega to ban jayega south clear right is this crystal clear na very good ab listen to me if this nail let's say let's say if you have this north and south na this end will become what pole sir it is close to north pole hai na means it will gain south pole it will become a south pole other end will become a north pole if this is south hai na if this is south pole of the magnet the end of the nail close to south pole will become what it will become North pole and other end will become South pole. Till here is it clear? Tell me, tell me. Till here is it clear? एक दम बढ़िया. Come on. Yes or no? The end which is close, it will gain polarity which is opposite. Yes, very good. Now you tell me, sir. If this is fine, opposite poles attract. True or false? है ना? Opposite poles attract. we have north and south interaction also na these two nails are hanging this is north pole this is south pole kya hoga they will try to meet they will attract each other so that's why what will happen sir ye aise ho jayega and that's why option d becomes the right answer this becomes south pole this becomes north pole this becomes north pole this becomes south pole and north and south attract that's why they move towards each other clear yes hai na Pretty things are made of a pattern. Ah, uh, applicable electric. Biju Kumar, my 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 friend, listen to me. Electroplating. I taught in oh, chemical effect, electrical electrical. No, है ना? Yes. एकदम clear, easy, right? Okay. Iron is not. Srishti, iron is not magnetic, but iron is a magnetic material. I hope you have been playing with magnets since your childhood. बचपन से हमको जब भी magnet मिलती है पहला काम क्या करते हो? You take the magnet और तुम भागते हो घर में कहा चिपकेगा अच्छा ओ टक अरे वाह आयरन पे इट इज गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड वाई आयरन इज अ मैग्नेटिक मटीरियल स्टील इज अ मैग्नेटिक मटीरियल एंड मैग्नेट अट्रैक्ट मैग्नेटिक मटीरियल करेक्ट ठीक है फाइन वेरी गुड ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन माई कंडीशन फिजिक्स अरे नहीं यार कैसी बात कर रहे हो नॉट क्लियर सूर्य अंश क्यों वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन ना अरे मैग्नेट पे जो पोल है उसके बगल में इफ यू ब्रिंग एन आयरन नेल आयरन नेल के पास कौन सा पोल आएगा इस पोल का ऑपोजिट अगर ये नॉर्थ है तो आयरन का ये वाला पार्ट बन जाएगा नॉर्थ पोल अगर ये साउथ है तो ये बन जाएगा साउथ पोल सिंपल एंड द अदर एंड विल बिकम ऑपोजिट एकदम आसान है यार इसमें तो दिक्कत क्या है है ना बट इट रिपेल्स लाइक पोल रिपेल्स नो 
लाइक पोल्स रिपेल मैग्नेटिक मटीरियल इट विल गेन ऑलवेज द ऑपोजिट पोलैरिटी हमेशा आयरन हमेशा अट्रैक्ट होगा कभी रिपेल नहीं करेगा ठीक है चलो कमान क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन फॉर दिस आई विल स्टार्ट द पोल शल आई गिव द पोल चाहिए तो तुमको है ना ठीक है आई डू इट ए बी मीन वेल यू थिंक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन ठीक है सिंपल क्वेश्चन है यार एकदम वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन मेंटी कब आएगा उसका बस ये ओलंपियाड खत्म हो जाएगा उसके बाद मेंटी करेंगे आराम से वेनेवर वी प्रॉमिस यू मेंटी नो रैक्स वी डू मेंटी यार पूरा प्लान बन रहा है तुम्हारा टू मैन आर स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ प्लेन मिरर एज शोन When man A looks into the mirror, कौन है मैन ए ये वाला वेन मैन ए लुक्स इन टू द मिरर हाउ फार अवे फ्रॉम हिम ही विल सी मैन बी देखो ऐसे खड़े ये है मैन ए ये है मैन बी राइट है ना मैन ए इज लुकिंग इन द मिरर उसको मिरर के अंदर मैन बी कितनी दूर दिखाई देगा राइट इफ मैन ए इज हेयर हिज इमेज इज इन साइड द मिरर then man b's image is also inside the mirror how far the image of man b is in front of man a that is the question yes purvi i know bachcha i know are tumko bahut late ho jata that's why we had to change it raat ka 10 ke upar ho jata that's why we thought we'll start it from 6 and we'll end it by 9 9:30 come on no no this and bio will happen after physics and logical reasoning No other numbers in the diagram. Okay, okay, okay. See, man A is standing two meters from the mirror, and man B is standing five meters from the mirror. Yes, come on. If you are new, welcome, welcome. बहुत बड़ा धोखा अरे नहीं ऐसे मत बोलो. You guys are smart. I know what you do. तुम लोग पीछे जाते हो. You go with two x. and then you reach at this current point hai na yes <laughs> d hai okay come on dekho bhai if you have seen i mean if you have been regular to the sessions you would know yaar ye bade simple simple properties of a plane mirror reflection now hum log kya plane mirror ko bahut bhav nahi dete lot of times we don't give a lot of bhav to plane mirrors sir what is bhav importance hai na lot of times we don't give a lot of importance to plane mirrors but Lot of questions can be formed on plane mirrors. Grade six may there is a small mention, and for grade six, grade seven, grade eight, I have done a one special session. It was called reflection, uh, reflection in a plane mirror, right? So in that session, I have told you all the important properties. We kind of experienced it, right? One important property is object distance equals image distance. But itna pata hona chahiye. If you know this much information, this question becomes let do. Come on. Yes. Yeah, I'm explaining. See, man A is standing in front of mirror, right? Man A is here, and man B is standing behind him. And in front of man A, there is a mirror, right? There is a mirror over here. Now, man A is looking in the mirror. Question is, how far the image of man B is in the mirror, right? How far the image of man B is in the mirror, according to A? That is the question. You don't know what you like? Don't worry. I know what you like. You like us, right? I hope. Nice, very good. Option B thirty seven percent. Option C twenty six percent. Yar, kabi fifty plus de do yar. I I'm really, I'm really happy. I I humko bhi man karta hai na fifty plus fifty percent se upar dikhne ka. Option B is the winner right now. Hai na? Option B hai na? Yes. Ah, uh, option D seventeen percent. Option B thirty seven percent. Okay. Let me ask you, sir. Man A is two meters in front of mirror. Means image of man A will be will be dash meters inside the mirror. By man A is standing two meters in front of mirror. Image of man A will be will be how many meters inside the mirror? Two meters. Sir, क्या ही दिक्कत है? Object distance equals image distance, है ना भाई? कभी तुमने देखा है यू आर स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर ड्रेसिंग टेबल एंड योर इमेज इन द टेबल इन द ड्रेसिंग टेबल मिरर उसके अंदर तुम्हारी इमेज इन द मिरर के बगल में है ऐसे करके कभी हुआ है ऐसा तुम्हारे साथ बिकॉज अगर हुआ है यू वोट बी हेयर राइट नाउ है ना 
कभी तुम सुबह सुबह गए अपने तैयार होके एकदम मिरर के सामने ऐसे ऐसे देखा एंड यू आर स्टैंडिंग हेयर मिरर इज हेयर एंड यूर इमेज इज जस्ट नेक्स्ट टू मिरर जिस दिन ये हो गया राइट करेक्ट जिस दिन ये हो गया आई एम प्रिटी श्योर आई वॉन्ट सी यू नेक्स्ट डे करेक्ट सो मैन ए इज टू मीटर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ मिरर करेक्ट सो इमेज ऑफ मैन ए विल बी सर दिस विल बी माई इमेज ऑफ मैन ए हाउ मच सर जी टू मीटर्स इन साइड द मिरर करेक्ट यस हाँ दैट्स ट्रू मैन बी इज हाउ फार फ्रॉम द मिरर ऊपर डिलीवरी हो जाएगी मैन बी इज हाउ फार प्रीवियस सेशन हाँ कैथरीन नाइन मैन बी इज हाउ फार फ्रॉम द मिरर फाइव और सेवन सेवन गुड मैन बी इज टोटल फाइव प्लस टू मीटर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ मिरर टोटल इज सेवन मीटर्स राइट सो मैन बी कितना दूर है सर मैन बी विल बी कितना कितना सेवन मीटर्स इन साइड द मिरर ओ सो मैन बी यहां पर है दिस इज मैन बी क्वेश्चन इज मैन ए इज हाउ फार फ्रॉम द इमेज ऑफ मैन बी क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ ए फ्रॉम बी ये डिस्टेंस कितना है भाई सर दिस विल बी सेवन प्लस टू दिस विल बी नाइन कम ऑन यस नहीं पता क्या बात कर रहा हूं करेक्ट ये क्या चल रहा है मोई मोई यस सृष्टि बच्चा आई एम सेइंग मैन ए इज टू मीटर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ मिरर सो इमेज ऑफ मैन ए विल बी टू मीटर्स इन साइड द मिरर मैन बी इज सेवन मीटर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ मिरर सो इमेज ऑफ मैन बी विल बी सेवन मीटर्स इन साइड द मिरर इमेज बी सॉरी मैन बी का इमेज इमेज ऑफ मैन बी इज सेवन मीटर्स इन साइड द मिरर मैन ए इज टू मीटर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ मिरर टू प्लस सेवन विल बी नाइन सो करेक्ट आंसर इज नाइन मीटर्स एकदम इजी कौन सा क्लास है दिस इज फॉर क्लास सेवेंथ बट डजेंट मैटर बिकॉज क्लास एट्थ वाले भी कर सकते हो बिकॉज इट विल कम फॉर यू एज वेल एंड यू माइट क्लास एट्थ पीपल इफ यू आर हेयर यू विल सी लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच आर वेरी सिमिलर टू योर एन एस ओ यस अभी समझाना वेरी गुड कम ऑन कैसा लगा क्वेश्चन इसको छोड़ दोगे कर लोगे दिस क्वेश्चन लास्ट क्वेश्चन डू यू थिंक दीज क्वेश्चन यू विल हैव टू लीव और यू कैन डू दम ऑन द स्पॉट ये सेवन आंसर इज रॉन्ग कम ऑन इजी है ना यस टाइप कम करो थोड़ा सुनो ज्यादा मेरे दोस्त यस है ना वेरी गुड चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन है भैया क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन ऑल एम सी क्यू सो दैट्स वाई एम गिविंग यू पोल बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू सी कितने लोगों से हो रहा है आई वॉन्ट टू सी हाउ मेरी डू इट बिकॉज परसेंटेज वाइज एवरी टाइम आई कैन सी लेस देन फिफ्टी परसेंट कैन वी रीच मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट दिस टाइम लेट्स सी यस नीड वन फिफ्टी लाइक्स यूर राइट विजी पीस ऑफ केक गुड क्यू दिल को कराया हाँ जी थोड़ा सुकून मिलेगा ना मतलब बच्चे तैयार हैं आई आल्सो गेट अ फीलिंग दैट किड्स आर रेडी राइट सो कम ऑन द डायग्राम शोज अ बीकर विद अ पीस ऑफ पोटेशियम पर मैंगनेट क्रिस्टल व्हिच इज वॉयलेट इन कलर इट इज प्लेस्ड इनसाइड द वाटर द वाटर इज हीटेड एज शोन नोटिस हाँ पोटेशियम पर क्रिस्टल इज ओवर हेयर राइट इट इज नॉट एट द सेंटर आई एम गिविंग यू अ हिंट पोटेशियम पर क्रिस्टल इज देर and this is where you are heating it which of the following options best illustrates the convection current in the water when it gets heated <laughs> come on see it <laughs> hey what is happening with this moi moi come on come on come on yaar I want correct answer for this. This is very easy question. See, I'm saying even if you don't get perfect, na, go with an intelligent guess. What do you think? Don't give tukka. I'm not saying blind tukka. I'm not saying blind guess. I'm saying intelligent guess. Come on. 
डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वाई आश अरे लिसन यार वट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड डू यू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन माई फर्स्ट थिंग इज क्वेश्चन समझ में आ रहा है कैन आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन राइट इफ क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर टू यू गो विद फर्स्ट योर थॉट प्रोसेस वॉट डू यू थिंक इफ दिस क्वेश्चन कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इन ओलंपियाड एग्जाम वॉट विल यू डू छोड़ देंगे क्या फायदा अटैम्प्ट कर लो एटलीस्ट अटैम्प्ट इट वॉट डू यू थिंक वॉट विल हैपन राइट एंड देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू कम आन क्वेश्चन इलेवन वो द फर्स्ट वन इट वॉज अ ट्राइंगल क्वेश्चन बच्चा यस कमान कमान वरुण अच्छा ये वो रियल ट्रेंड है क्या वो अरे वो तो वो है ना माये मारे है ना वो था ना आई सा ओनली वन कमान यस आंसर इज सी ओके ये तुम ओए होए मत करो तुम ओए मोए करते करते ओए होए कर दोगे Yes, Suryansh. It is some real song. I I I understand now. Yes. चलो ठीक है. I am going to end the poll now. Ah ah ah. अरे किधर गया poll? Please 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 more than fifty more than fifty more than fifty. नहीं. C is forty six percent. Oh, I mean it was close. I mean at least some option was close ना. चलो ठीक है. Let's see let's see. एक बार बताओ. Let me ask you. कन्वेक्शन करंट सर याद तो आ रहा है आई कैन आई कैन रिमेंबर कन्वेक्शन करंट ना राइट इफ लेट से यू हैव इफ लेट से यू हैव अ बीकर राइट इन द बीकर यू हैव वॉटर फाइन इफ इन द बीकर यू हैव वॉटर एंड इफ यू हीट इट फ्रॉम द सेंटर है ना दिस इज वेयर यू आर हीटिंग इट फाइन ठीक है लेट मी आस्क यू वॉट विल हैपन Sir, hot water will rise up. The place where you are heating, hot water will rise up. Hot water will rise up, and the cold water will come down to take its place. So, in this case, what will happen, sir? In this case, I feel, uh, 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 I feel, hot water will rise up like this, and the cold water will come down to take its place. So here. convection currents they look like this and this is what you have studied if you have seen the session you have studied this particular thing right remember is this clear everybody has studied this right now why is that question different how many of you remember land breeze and sea breeze kitne logo ko yaad hai land breeze sea breeze question come on come on come on yes <laughs> बोर हो गए हाँ आई नो हाउ मेनी यू रिमेंबर लैंड ब्रीज सी ब्रीज सी ओलंपियाड आर नॉट टू चेक हाउ मच यू कैन क्रैम इट इज टू चेक हाउ मच यू आर अवेयर इफ यू स्टडी वन थिंग कैन यू रिलेटेड टू अदर अदर थिंग्स यू नो वॉट लैंड ब्रीज सी ब्रीज इज दिस सर हाउ इन द डे टाइम वॉट एपन सर इन द डे टाइम द लैंड बिकम्स हॉट राइट the land becomes hot means the air above land rises up right so air above the land it rises up correct yes sir and what happens sir sea is cold right this is your sea this is your sea sea is cold so air above the sea is cold so what happens this cold air from the sea comes towards the land this is where the cold air comes and what happens to the hot air sir hot air goes here to cool down This is the same question. How many of you can relate this question with this scenario? Scenario, land breeze, sorry, sea breeze. Say, how many people do relate it? कितने लोग relate कर पा रहे हो? Yes or no? फटाफट. <laughs> yes. Are you able to relate it? Same question है. This is the same question. एकदम आसान. Correct? क्या बात हो रही है? Sir, potassium permanganate is over here. Means it is giving you violet color. so it will heat and the hot water will rise up and the cold water will come down to take its place so you can say convection current looks something like this means option c the end pata nahi chala kyun yes are nahi itna hard nahi hai diya i am telling you this is this is the way we should learn the only reason i tell all my students to give olympiad exams taki you realize how we should learn olympiad exams are not tough they just Twist the questions. 
like it happens in JE, NEET. So that's why people, I'm telling you, give Olympiad examinations. In future, if you want to give JE, NEET, any exam, na, this will prepare you for that. Hai na? Mentality banaye ga ye. Yes, correct, tricky, no, but this was easy. Sea breeze is equivalent to this question. Correct answer is option C. Clear hua? Potassium permanganate say the hot water will rise up and cold water will come down. So this is looking like a clockwise thing. Same. Scenario would have changed if potassium permanganate was in the center. Tomorrow, if let's say this question comes, potassium permanganate is at the center and you are heating it. So what Sir, then I will get something like this. Essa and Essa. Right? This is when potassium permanganate is at the center and you are heating it. Okay? Hai na? Tricky but not hard. Very good. Feeling confident? Thoda acha lag Right? Feeling good? Yes? Hina? Hindi English bacha mix hai. I'm telling you, kal agar aajayega potassium permanganate is sitting at the center, to kya hoga? Aap bologe aise jayega. Abhi kya tha? Ye aur sea breeze same tha ekdam. Hai na? Yes? Very good. Haan. Kuch kaam ka hai magnet? Bohut kaam ka hai magnet. Chalo, come on. Next question bhai. Next question, a circuit diagram is shown here, which of the switches must be closed so that only bulb Y lights up? You know what? This is extremely important. This type of question is coming. People, if class 8th students are here, if class 6th students are here, I have done your Olympiad session, right? Monday ko gaya tha, class 8th ka. And we did class 6th yesterday. If you remember, this question, I mean similar question, this. This type of question, it was in class 6th also, class 8th also, doesn't matter. So this is a very, very, very common pattern. So all of you, we should be able to understand this pattern. It's very important. ICSC is different. Yeah, I am from ICSC. Till class 12th, I was in ICSC. From nursery to class 12th. 15 years, I was in the same school, ICSC board. So I understand, yeah, ICSC has more slippers. It's one of the effects. Yes. Come on, I'm telling you, circuit diagrams, you will say, sir, this is class 10th question. And I will say, yes, for class 10th, it's a very easy question. For you, it's a typical question. And that's why I always tell you, there is a way to solve it without even thinking too much. It becomes a game. How many of you remember the rules of the game? Kidna loko game ke rules yaad hai? Jaldi batao. Forget about cell, forget about bulb, forget about everything. Switch with sab bhul jao. I always teach this question to lower grades using a games and its rules. Kitne loko rules yaad hai? Aapko yaad hai? Ha, that's true. I'm speaking Hindi and English. Water wala. Correct. Ekdam asan. If you have seen those games which are very common and you guys are active on social media, I can see all the moe moe. Right? Because you are watching reels, hai na? There also you will get ads. Right? You will see there is a very common game. You have to unlock this tab so that water can flow over here. Then you have to unlock this tab so that water can flow over here. Something like that, no? Hey na? Right? Doubt, doubt, doubt. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Very good, Aradhya. That's good here. Uh, A. All right. Nice, Reena. That's good. I hope it is correct also. Huh? I hope it is correct also. 50 friends upar ho gaya. That's good. Bahut sochne ke baad, I got it. Samriddhi. Good. I think it is D, not a problem. Everybody, see, if, right now go with your intuition. If you think this is right, go with that. I will teach you, yeah, that's why I'm here. If I had to only give this question, I would have said, Karlo Khudi, I kya karunga? Right? So I'm here to teach you only. You go, you make mistake, yeah. You, you remember the dialogue? Mere ko bhaagna hai, mere ko girna hai, mere ko ye karna hai, mere ko wo karna hai, mere ko rukna nahi hai. So you make mistake. Jee bhar ke jee lo. Hai na? Must. Don't understand anything? Not a problem. Ash, are dhyan se dekho mere dost. C, A, C. Bilkul, wah, mokshit. Kya, kya badhiya baat boli tumne? Mere ko bhaagna hai? Ah, yes, Manoj, that's true. Are ya, I'm not saying mere ko bhaagna hai yaha se. I'm saying, <laughs> think, think metaphorically. Hanji, let's see. Full sure, C. 65% bol raha yaar. Let's see yaar. Is baar sahi ho gaya na? Ayo ta raha I'll give you a flying kiss. Agar ye sahi ho gaya. Option A, 65% are telling me it's right. Option A. Thik hai. Let's see. You don't understand. Sahel, bacha, listen very carefully. I'll teach you this type of question. Okay. Option A, 65%. Very good. Baut achche. 
अब सुनो जरा लिसन टू मी अब फिफ्टी परसेंट ना नाइस वेरी गुड देर इज अ वे इन विच यू कैन सॉल्व दीज क्वेश्चन विदाउट थिंकिंग टू मच आई एम टेलिंग यू फॉरगेट अबाउट बैटरी फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस बल्ब फॉरगेट अबाउट स्विच इमेजिन स्विच इज लाइक अ टैप योर होम वर अ टैप द टैप यू हैव इन योर वॉश रूम्स है ना वॉश बेसिन वॉटर टैप दिस ड्राई सेल इज लाइक योर वॉटर टैंक इमेजिन दिस इज लाइक योर वॉटर टैंक द रूल ऑफ द गेम इज राइट द रूल ऑफ द गेम इज वेन यू टर्न द टैप ऑन द वॉटर द वॉटर शुड कम बैक टू द टैंक है ना यू हैव टू चूज अ पाथ सच दैट वॉटर शुड रीच बैक टू द टैंक दिस इज द फर्स्ट रूल ठीक है गेटिंग माई रूल है ना फ्रॉम दिस वॉटर टैंक वॉट एवर टैप यू क्लोज है ना इफ यू क्लोज द टैप पी वॉटर कैन फ्लो फ्रॉम हियर इफ यू क्लोज टैप एस वॉटर कैन फ्लो फ्रॉम हियर है ना देन इफ यू दिस वॉटर कैन कम बैक सो द रूल ऑफ द गेम इज वॉट एवर टैप यू क्लोज द वॉटर नीड्स टू रीच बैक टू द टैंक ठीक है एंड वेर एवर द वॉटर पासिस यू कैन गेट द सप्लाई क्वेश्चन इज ओनली बल्ब वाई लाइट अप मीन्स दिस बल्ब वाई नीड्स टू गेट द वॉटर सप्लाई this bulb why needs to get the water supply so sir water will come out of this the positive sign of the tank na this plus sign of the tank the water will come out theek hai now water will stop so i have to close p okay sir i will close p if you close p now water will go this side what do you want sir i want water supply in the bulb why right so will you close s no because if you close s what will happen this z will get the supply you don't want that so you will not close tap s water will go forward 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 okay sir i have to close tap r water will go in this line it will pass through the y bulb then the water will come over here now you tell me water will go this side but now it will see are yaar tap t is open so i have to close tap t also if you close tap t water will go back nicely and happily to the tank so how many taps did you close sir i closed p i closed r i closed t simple come on jaldi batao is this method clear i am not teaching you about any current about any switches about any parallel connection any series connection i am just telling you think of it like a game are you clear with this jaldi batao are you clear with this oh nice i know it is parallel connection is this method clear right the water will come out of of the positive side of the cell of the water tank the water needs to go back to the tank right so whatever tap you open and close whatever tap you open from there water will pass and it has to come back to the tank think about it sir i will close p i will close r i will close t because if i close q x will get water you don't want that so i will not close q i will not close s simple p r and t you got the answer yes and anvi clear srishti i'm saying think it like a game water will pass which taps will you close such that water passes only only through bulb y and only through bulb y sir i will close p why because if you close p then only water can go forward then water will have to be closed with r r se pass karna padega and water will have to pass through t and if you if i tell you the truth this question is actually very easy just take your pencil and do it yes nitin come on come on jaldi batao pata hai aasan tarika kya hai sochna hi nahi hai zyada you don't have to think a lot okay sir it has to go like this na p r t the end that's it if tomorrow if tomorrow the question says uh, which all switch will you close so that bulb y and bulb z they turn on if the question let's say changes tomorrow to let's say if you want to turn bulb y and bulb z only kya karoge yes <laughs> abhi samjha na very good if let's say tomorrow question says bulb y should turn on bulb z should turn on what will you do p s t r good how easy it is sir bulb y na okay uh this is one and then you want bulb z also na theek hai to i will also turn this aha sir p s r t done easy ekdam easy if tomorrow question says you have to turn bulb x only kya karoge x chahiye na sir aise 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 kya baja p q t p q t answer 10 second ka question hai ye 
you know, it's just a 10 second question and you will get the right answer. So correct answer is option A. Clear hai? Haan, very good. Clear hai? I'm telling you, it's, it's not a technically right trick, but it's a trick. It will help you. Right? Come on. Can't understand Hindi? I mean, speaking English will hear thing, no? Very good. It's, haan, kids activity maze. Correct. Nice, Catherine. Easy. Very good. Chalo, come on. Next question. Now, this is a question I would suggest if you get this and you don't know the shortcut, you can leave it. Which means it's a slightly tough question. If you know the shortcut, which I will tell you, don't you worry about that. I will tell you the shortcut. But if you don't know the shortcut for this question, I would suggest either keep it for the end or leave it. Yes. Ayush, you are very sad, child. What do you tell me? I left cricket after that. What is going on, Manoj? Come on, tell me, man. Everybody, listen to me. Question number 16. I'll give you four options. And I'm telling you, if you don't know the shortcut, you can either keep this question for the end or you can leave it. I'm telling you that. I, I, I told you in the starting. Olympiad is not telling you to solve all the questions. Olympiad wants you to be smart so that you don't waste your time on the wrong question. That's why I'm telling you this. Long question, they can solve karne ka man nahi karta chai <laughs> Yes. Utkarsh, come on. Sachin sir, bilkul. Play cricket. I play badminton. Cricket, yaar, itni janta milti nahi aaj kabhi. Actually got 100, ha? Huh? True. Yes, Jan, we relatable. A, A, A. Acha, how many of you know the shortcut for this? How many of you know the formula for this? Usually, we teach this to neat students as a shortcut. J students also know it. Hai na? In foundation courses we teach it, but you might not know. Thand mein badminton? Are yaha Bangalore hai re, thand nahi hota utna. Mast rata hai. Yes, come on. Magnet. <laughs> Thank you, Ayush. Vertically opposite angle. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Guys, you try. I'm telling you, you go with your gut feeling. Whatever you feel like, if you can solve it somehow, do it. I'm going to teach you both method. The hard work method also and the smart work method also. The shortcut also and the long thing also. State badminton, nice. Kuch si khadana hai mereko. Mereko bot time lag raha hai Yes, come on. Couldn't understand. See, let me read the question. A ray of light strikes a plane mirror M1. Right, starting me, in the starting, there is this mirror M1. Right, this is M1. Correct. Light ray incidents on it. M1 and this light ray, which is making 40 degree angle. Fine. Now the question is, this mirror is now rotated anti-clockwise. This mirror, M1, is now rotated anti-clockwise. Question is, how much will the reflected, uh, reflected light turn and through what angle? Question is, if the light ray is still the same, but the mirror is turned, what will be the angle or how much will be the turning of the reflected ray? That is the question. Yes, come on. <laughs> Inky pinky funky, <haan>, okay. <laughs> Math Olympiad. Bus, Arash ma'am is coming this Friday. She's not available right now, but yes, she'll be back and then you will have Olympiads. <laughs> Thank you, Prince Charming. Aradhya, don't worry, but I'll explain you. See, imagine this is your mirror M1. Hena light ray is striking your mirror. Now, what we have done? What we have done? This mirror is rotated like this. This mirror is rotated like this. Question is, how much will the reflected ray turn? That is the question. Come on. You know how to solve this. Very good. One more day. Oh, mental maths. Very good, Shruti. That's good, yeah. 90 kilometers from Bangalore. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Arush, I'm telling you, see, because if the question is very hard in Olympiad, I'm telling you, let's leave it. Don't put your heart on the question. Again, listen to me. Don't fall in love with the question. Question is very bad, my friend. Bad is uh, in English, what? Uh, the question betrays, right? So, questions don't put your heart on the question. If it's a solve, then do it. Okay, fine. I'm not doing it. No problem. आगे बताओ जल्दी जल्दी। All the best बच्चा। 
अकड़ बकड़ बम्बे को अरे लिसन आई एम क्लोजिंग द पोल हाँ ठीक है आई टीच यू आई नो आई नो दिस इज अ टफ क्वेश्चन मोए मोए कर रहे हो ऑप्शन ए फोर्टी फोर परसेंट ऑप्शन बी ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट ऑप्शन सी सिक्सटीन परसेंट ठीक है आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दर इज अ लॉट ऑफ अकड़ बकड़ इन दिस अ लॉट ऑफ इंकी पिंकी पोंकी ठीक है अनालिसन यार सिनेरियो वन सिनेरियो वन इज व्हेन ओनली मिरर एम वन इज देयर एंड लाइट रे इज कमिंग लाइक दिस राइट दिस इज योर लाइट रे ठीक है नाउ यू टेल मी रिफ्लेक्टेड रे विल मेक व्हाट एंगल विद द नॉर्मल रिफ्लेक्टेड रे विल मेक व्हाट एंगल विद द नॉर्मल भाई दिस इज फोर्टी सर दिस इज फोर्टी मींस फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल From the normal, the reflected ray will make, sir, how much? This is fifty. So this is fifty, right? So normal is making forty degrees with the mirror, sir. Very simple question. क्या ही है इसमें? हाँ, that is true. So this is तो very very clear है ना? This is very easy. Quite hard. I I know I know, बच्चा. I'll tell you shortcut. Don't worry. I'll tell you a shortcut for this. Now when you rotate the mirror, sir, how much? Ten degrees, है ना? Now you have done what? Now your mirror M1 is rotated by 10 degrees, correct? So now your mirror M1 becomes, let me take red. This, this is your mirror M2. Fine. This is your mirror M2. Clear? Now you tell me, what is the incident ray? What is the incident ray? I mean, what is the angle? The incident ray making from mirror M2? Your incident ray is still the same. है ना यही तो है योर इंसिडेंट रे इज मेकिंग हाउ मच एंगल विद द मिरर द एम टू मिर सर फोर्टी प्लस टेन सो दिस एंगल इज हाउ मच सर दिस इज फिफ्टी डिग्रीज है ना दिस इज फिफ्टी डिग्रीज टिल नाउ एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर ओके 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 लिसन वेरी केयरफुल यहां बिकॉज आई एम टेलिंग यू वंस दिस इज डन आई विल नॉट एक्सप्लेन अगैन आई विल गिव यू अ शॉर्टकट दिस इज फिफ्टी डिग्रीज ओके सर वेर इज द नॉर्मल सर नॉर्मल इज दिस The angle between previous normal and this new normal is how much? It is 10 degrees. See, if you rotate the mirror, na, the angle between previous normal and new normal will be the amount of rotation of the mirror. So this angle is 10 degrees. ठीक है? Fine. Okay, sir. Okay. Now you tell me, sir, if angle of incidence for this mirror is 40 degrees, angle of reflection will be how much? Sir, angle of reflection will be कितना? So it will be forty degrees, right? Angle of reflection from mirror M two will be how much? Forty degrees, sir. Yes, that is true. Okay, okay. Badiya, badiya. I agree, I agree. Question is, question is, what if, what is this angle? This is the question. Ye angle kitna hai? This is asked, right? Right? Correct? Okay. Now you tell me, sir. Let me change the color. कौन सा कलर ले यार? हाँ, let me take white यार. This is good. Sir, if this is ten, है ना? If this is ten, this is forty. Correct? Right? True. This angle is how much? Sir, this angle is thirty degrees. This is thirty. Correct? Total is fifty. Means this is twenty degrees. That is your answer. <laughs> Getting my point? मैथ है बहुत सारा इसमें एंगल का खेल चल रहा है सो दिस एंगल इज कमिंग आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज कितने लोग को समझ में आया पहले ये बताओ ओ नाइस यार आरुष वेरी गुड यूज इज ऑल कलर्स लाइट एंड आर नॉट क्लियर ओके हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गॉट आइडिया एटलीस्ट आई एम आस्किंग यू सची सची बताना जस्ट जस्ट बी ट्रूथ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड इट बिकॉज इफ यू से नो आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम Tell me, not clear. Me, you got it. No, है ना? Few people got it. Few people did not get it because I know, yar, there's a lot of here and there, plus minus angles here and there and there. Let me give you a shortcut. ठीक है? Shortcut, everybody. If you have pen and notebook, please note, yar. This is a very important shortcut. It will solve your question like this. Sir, what is the shortcut? If you turn your mirror by angle theta. If you rotate your mirror by angle theta. The amount of turning in the reflected ray will be two theta. If your mirror rotates by angle theta, your reflected ray will rotate by angle two theta 
in the direction of rotation of the mirror. 2 theta in the direction of rotation of the mirror. Yes. Correct. Hoi hoi. Are jaldi batao. See this shortcut please note it down. If you tilt your mirror let's say theta over here. Hai na? Theta over here. Your reflected ray will turn to theta. In which direction? Sir in this direction. If you turn your mirror theta in this direction. Your reflected ray will turn to theta in which direction? Sir in this direction. Clear? Yes. Hai na? Let me note. Please note. It's a shortcut and it is it is taught to neat students, not even grade 10 students. It is taught to neat students and thoda thoda ICC students. Yes, angle konsa? Theta. Janvi, theta angle is theta is the angle of rotation of the mirror. Right. So your reflected ray will rotate by 2 theta. In which direction? In the direction of rotation of the mirror. Okay. Yes. Correct. What is theta? Atomic student, at theta is any random angle. Any angle. I'm just giving you a variable. Na? Theta could be anything. 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree. Na? It doesn't matter. So theta is the angle of rotation of mirror. 2 theta is? So basically, angle of rotation is double. Ho Reflected ray will rotate double. Correct? Na? Yes. Very good. So that's why. Is this shortcut clear? So correct answer becomes? 20 degrees anti-clockwise. Sir, why? Because mirror rotated 10 degrees anti-clockwise. So angle of, ref uh, sorry, reflected, uh, reflected ray will rotate. How much? Sir, twice of 10 degree. 20 degree. Where? Same direction. Anti-clockwise. Done. Yes. Come on. Jaldi. Ruman, Pacha, I'm going to tell you. Look, if your mirror 10 degrees rotate, then your reflected ray उससे डबल रोटेट करेगा किस डायरेक्शन में सेम डायरेक्शन में जिस डायरेक्शन में मेरा रोटेट किया है सेम डायरेक्शन फाइन यस एवरीबॉडी आई हैव गिवन यू द प्रॉपर हार्ड कोर सॉल्विंग एंड द शॉर्टकट आई विल टेल यू प्लीज रिमेंबर द शॉर्टकट बिकॉज़ दिस क्वेश्चन इज इज सिंपल सिंपल शॉर्टकट इज देयर ठीक है फाइन नाइस क्रिस्टल क्लियर वेरी गुड चलो कम ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 एंड एवरीबॉडी इफ यू थिंक ऑल दीस शॉर्टकट्स आर हेल्पफुल फॉर योर Explain that again. Tom boys, Pacha, I'm telling you if mirror, if mirror rotates by some angle, let's say x or theta, right? Let's say mirror rotates by x. Your reflected ray rotates by 2x. In which direction? In the direction where the mirror rotates. Same. That's it. Okay? Come on. Question number 17, Pacha. On your screen. 17 question. Any grade 8 students over here? I can see few. I know. Late ho gaye. Koi baat nahi aarana. Yes. Moi, moi, hoi, hoi, doi, doi. What is it? What is it? What is it? Great 8 students, if you remember, this is a question which was there in your syllabus also, in your Olympiad exam also. Why? Because this is the question of heat chapter. And grade 8, me, grade 7 question can come. Right? So that's why. This is, this is important for both 7th and 8th. Almost exact same question was in grade 8th Olympiad. If you remember. Yes, Sujay? Eighth graders are more than seventh graders. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> nice. Come on, I'll give you a poll, na? Physics, chhod diye. Kyu, bhai? Physics chhodwa rahe yaar. Ek hi chiz to aata hai mere ko. Wo bhi chhodwa doge. Come on, come on. A and then uh, B and then uh, I'll give you C. I'll give you D also. See, this is a very common question. I'm telling you. Try to solve. Try to solve. It's okay. Bilkul, are, all kids are best. Yes, come on. Just looking at a difficult one. <laughs> Sajin, bacha, let Arsh ma'am come back and definitely she'll take your uh, request. Hello, Rishil. You don't understand the question? Okay, listen, I, I'll tell you. I'll explain you the question at least. The lengths of mercury column when immersed in melting ice and steam above boiling water are 9 cm and 44 cm respectively. What temperature would the thermometer record if the length of the mercury column is 23 cm? Question is telling you when you put a, when you put a thermometer in melting ice, it gives you reading of 9 cm. Now can someone tell me melting ice has how much temperature? Yes. 
Sparsh, Arsh ma'am is coming tomorrow. So by my, from Monday she'll take the class. Don't worry. अरे नहीं आपका क्वेश्चन देखा मैंने. Because I can see only Mohi Mohi. That's why I'm not seeing it. So that Menti bacha, don't worry. See, once Olympiads are over, no, then we'll do Menti. Relax. आपके पास आ जाऊँ मैं. आप मेरे पास हो ना. That's good. Thirty two. अरे zero. Melting ice has zero degree Celsius. Steam above boiling water has how much temperature? Sir, hundred degree Celsius. Question is asking you कि भाई zero degree पे it reads nine centimeters. Hundred degree Celsius पे it reads कितना? Forty four. It reads forty four centimeter. Question is asking you when it reads twenty three centimeters, how much is the temperature? Now is the question clear? Yes, Santosh. I just explained, bacha. By zero degree pe dikhata hai 9 centimeter. 100 degree pe dikhata hai 44 centimeter. 23 centimeter pe kitna temperature hai? That is the question. Come on. Hmm, kisi ne pura pura wo likha hai? Aao, tusan me tum, hai na? I think the answer is C. Atomic student, okay? Kim class sixth? Bilkul, class sixth. See, after one or two questions, they have been logical reasoning. And that is important for everybody. 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Come on. Yeah, this is easy question. All the 8th graders, I want correct answer. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You have to study. You don't have to study. You have to set example for your juniors. Come on. We are best like Everest. Jaldi. Look, I explained you the question also. This question is very easy. Ah, you're right. You're best like Everest. Bio. Uh, after logical reasoning. Uh, uh, Ashwari ma'am is taking a class right now. She'll be free by 8. Okay, I'll end the poll. Na. Thoda jaldi karte na. Bahut time lag hai aajkal. Correct sports, you're right. Option C, 56%. Aha! Majha aya, majha aya, majha, 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 majha aya. Fair aajke, thikhe. 56% people say option C. That's a good thing. Yaar, ek baar batao. 0 to 100 degree Celsius, what is the temperature difference, sir? 100 degree Celsius. And this is covered in the range 9 to 44 centimeter. So this is how much? Sir, this is 44 minus of 9. Means, sir, this is, kitna? Uh, 44, yeah, na? This is 33. 33, right? Aray, nahi, this is 35. 35 centimeters. 35 centimeter may you can cover 100 degree Celsius. Sir, bahut badiya. When the reading is 23, how much is the, how much is the reading? Fine. Now, question is, 1 centimeter means how much? 1 centimeter means how many degrees? Sir, it becomes a unitary method question. Question bol raha hai, 35 centimeter may you have 100 degree Celsius. 1 centimeter division means 100 upon 35 degrees Celsius, right? 100 upon 35. So every 1 centimeter is going to give you reading of 100 upon 35 degrees Celsius, right? Right now, your reading is kitna? 23. But is it starting from 0? No. Starting is from 9 centimeters, right? Starting is from... 9 centimeters going till 44 centimeters and your reading now is 23 centimeters how many divisions in between sir final minus initial so 23 minus of 9 what is it sir this is 14 centimeters so in 14 centimeters what will be your reading sir 100 upon 35 into 14 7 to the 14 7 5 the 35 5 5 20 answer aa gaya hai 40 degrees celsius Easy. Yes, Anupam, tell me. James, bacha, listen to me. See, 9 centimeter pe, 9 centimeter pe, it shows 0 degree Celsius. 44 pe, it shows 100 degree Celsius. Right? Question is, what is the temperature for 23 centimeters? Correct? Yes. Easy. Tell me. Is this question clear? Ekdam easy, hai na? right? And it's a common question here. Dal diya kya? Oh. Koi nahi, achha. Extra padne mil jayega, achhi baad nahi toh. Right? Is it easy? Is it clear? Fine. So, what do we do? It's a simple pattern. Find how many, find how much is the centimeter difference. Sir, centimeter difference is 35. Right? 
35 सेंटीमीटर का डिफरेंस इज इक्वल टू 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस मींस एवरी 1 सेंटीमीटर डिवीजन इज इक्वल टू सर 100 अपॉन 35 डिग्री सेल्सियस नाउ क्वेश्चन इज 23 नाउ 23 टू रीच 23 हाउ मेनी डिविजंस विल यू कवर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम 9 यू विल कवर हाउ मच सर 23 minus 9 यू विल कवर 14 डिविजंस राइट 14 डिविजंस 14 डिविजंस मींस 14 सेंटीमीटर 14 सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू व्हाट हाउ मच टेंपरेचर सर uh, 1 cm ka jitna hoga usse multiply kar denge you will get 40 degree celsius easy question yes hai na correct santosh i explained you bachcha just now everybody so correct answer is option c and the working method which i told you it is same every time for these questions so please 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 note it down come on hai na clear ho gaya chale aage ekdam badhiya chalo this question, see, it's a last year paper and wind storms and cyclones was in your syllabus back then. Abhi nahi hai. So, ab nahi aega hai. So, it's okay. If you don't know this question, I don't mind. I can skip this question also. Yes? James, come on. See, if you don't know this question, I don't mind. I can skip this question. But, give a tukka. Give inky ponky. No, no. Answer, answer. Come on. Ambir. Sixth class. Sparsh, sixth class ki class to kal hui di na? Yesterday we had sixth class. D, A, C, A. Pole ni de de. Hey, this question doesn't need pole. Yes. Are Anupam, answer, answer. Come on. Hello. Reena says C. Milan D. Raj Lakshmi A. Monu Z. Z. Srishti D. Neelam A. Very easy. Pole. A pole. Are this question is not your syllabus yaar. Relax. I will not give you pole. It's a... It's not in your syllabus anymore. So, Olympiad may normally NCRT syllabus is followed. Now, it is not an NCRT syllabus. So, it's okay. Relax. I'll give you an idea. Dego bhai, listen to me. Highest speed is of tornado. Tornado has the highest speed. Tornado kya hota hai? Sir, wo. Ooh, are baut tez ghoomta hai wo to hai na? Tornado has the highest speed. Matlab, sir, P should be 4. P should be 4. Next, cyclone ke andar, in cyclone, so what is cyclone? Sir, cyclone looks something like this from the top. Center may we have a hole. This is called as the eye of cyclone. Hai na? The center portion of cyclone has very low speed. Cyclone I has very low speed. So Q becomes 1. Sir, P is uh, 4 and Q is 1. Matlab, this is okay, this is okay, this is wrong, this is wrong. Hai, let's see. R, what about R? The cloud region of cyclone. And wind speed of cloud region of cyclone. Now listen to me. Clouds, they move because of... Why, why do clouds move? Cloud, ye badal kyu chalte hai? Anybody? Yes. Why do clouds move? I'm not talking about cyclone. Normally. Why do clouds move? Wind. Yesterday was amazing. Thank you so much. Because of wind, speed of cloud should be more or wind should be more. Speed of cloud should be more or wind should be more? By wind is moving clouds. So wind speed should be more, na? So which means, sir, 150, 150 to 200. Achha, wind should be 3 and R should be 2. Option D. Correct. Very good. I am giving you random logic. This is out of your syllabus now. It won't come. But I am just telling you how to guess. Correct, hai na? Badiya? Chalo, aage aajo. Hmm. Electricity, your favorite. I'll give you a poll for this. What is the error in the following household circuit diagram? This is also a very easy question I'm telling you, but if you know the uh, logic behind. A, B, I'll give you now C, and then we'll take D. Chalo. Yes, come on. Yes. This is English only. Hey, am I not speaking English? What do you think? Kaun si bhaasha hai ye? This was Hindi. <laughs> but mostly it's English. Come on, focus. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Multiverse. Oh. Bream says D. Air pressure. Okay. Angreji. Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Mm. Sanskrit mein hai maa Come on. 
What is the error in the following household circuit diagram? Look at the diagram. I'll also move out of your way. Hanji, come on. See. D. Shout out. Okay. C, 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 D, D, D. There is no error in the circuit. Well, sir, this is a good circuit. There is no error. Flawless. B. There should be an earth wire connected to the load. Hmm, achha. There should be an earth wire connected to the load. Hmm, okay. C. The switch should be connected to the live wire. Okay, okay, okay. We'll see. Last one. The neutral wire and the live wire in the socket should be interchanged. See, I'll give you, I'll give you very simple logic and with that logic, like these questions will become very easy. So relax. Whatever you know, you attempt it. I'll tell you. Relax, Ekdam. You will focus. Very good. Anupam, focus. Where is the focus? Thand bohat hai Oh, I know. It's very good. See, I'm also from UP. My, my parents are in Bijnor only. So when we talk to them, it's getting colder in north. Physics khatam. Are don't worry. Physics khatam hoga ekdam. Relax. Haji Mizu. Come on. Are magnet hai there. Tum to focus karo. What is an earth wire? What is an, uh, Ishan earth wire? If you see, if you see in your house, the heavy appliances, they have that third pin. That is the earth wire wala pin. It is, it is done for safety. These class, bilkul. You can join this class. Very good. Okay, I'll close the poll, huh? Now, we have 51%. I don't want to jinx it. Oh, the moment I ended, it became 50. Let's see. C is 50%. D is 28%. 50. Aha. Good. Aray, ek baar batao. See, I'm telling you one small thing. There is no error. This is wrong. Always, always, before your appliances, whatever whatever things you have that can stop the current in this circuit what all things are there that can stop the current you tell me by what all things do you have in this circuit which can stop the current which can stop the current supply which two things are there come on between c and d i know i know but I'll, I'll tell you which two things are there which can stop the current fuse and switch good sir switch can stop the current if i open the switch current will stop Fuse can also stop the current if fuse breaks. Current will stop. Yes. So all these uh, all these instruments, all these things which can stop the current, they should come before the load. That's it. This is a mistake even grade 10 students do sometimes. I'm telling you, this is a mistake which even grade 10 students do sometimes. All these things which can stop the current, which can cut the current, they should be before the load. I'm not going to explain you why. I'm giving you this small logic. Just remember it. See, the reason is for safety. A lot of things are there. But I'm not going to explain you why because this is something I'll teach to class 10th and this is class 7th. Yeah, there's a good gap. I'm, I'm not going to teach you. But switch and fuse should be before the load. Now, there should be earth wire. It is good. But not all appliances have earth wire. Na? Think about it. Your refrigerator, your geyser, your heater, they all have three pin, hai na? they all have three pin. Your uh, LED lights, your table lamp, your small appliances, bulb, do they have three pin? Na? Right? Hai na? Tell me. Yes. Suni, Hindi, English, ek hi baat hai, yaar. Dost, kya farak padta hai? Batao. Tell me. Tumhara bulb, table lamp, right? All these small, small appliances, they have only two pin plug. All the heavy appliances which have metallic body, hai na? Jaise ki refrigerator, uh, heater, geyser, they have three pin, correct? Hai na? So load could be anything by. Load could be bulb also. Load could be fridge also. Load could be anything. Hai na? So earth wire, you can't say which load. So it doesn't matter. Bhai, B quota. Option C, switch should be connected to the live wire. If you connect the switch in the live wire before the load, that is good. Right? That is good. So switch and fuse, they should be connected in the live wire before the load. That is very important. So option C is correct. Now you tell me, 
सर देन ऑप्शन डी में वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम यार ऑप्शन डी में तो ठीक है सर इफ आई इंटरचेंज इफ आई से दिस इज माई न्यूट्रल एंड दिस इज माई लाइव देन वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम यू टेल मी इफ आई इंटरचेंज माई वायर दैट बिकम्स न्यूट्रल दिस बिकम्स लाइव लुक सेम ना आई मीन लुक्स वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम इन दिस इट ऑल्सो लुक्स कुल है ना यस क्लास सेवन लगता है पार हो गया कमान है ना जल्दी बताओ शॉर्ट सर्किट नो वट इज द प्रॉब्लम टेल मी आई गेव यू द लॉजिक अरे मोई सुन तो लो यस करेक्ट वॉट इज लोड मोक्षित लोड कुड बी एनीथिंग बच्चा कुड बी बल्ब कुड बी रेफ्रिजरेटर कुड बी फ्रिज एनीथिंग एनी अप्लायंस इज द लोड फ्यूज इज आफ्टर द लोड ग्रेट गुड ममता राइट प्रॉब्लम क्या है सर इफ आई इंटरचेंज लाइव एंड न्यूट्रल माई स्विच इज ओके But my fuse is coming after load. That is the problem, na? That cannot happen. So option D is also wrong. Correct answer is option C. Important logic is your switch, fuse, whatever can cut, whatever can cut the supply of current. Could be an MCB also tomorrow, है ना? Whatever can cut the supply of current, that should be in the live wire before the load. Bus, ठीक है? Fine. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Come on, come on. Crystal clear. Very good. चलो. Hey, for this also I'll give you a small logic here. I know this is class tenth question. If you don't know this, I'm okay if you leave it. In your exam, it's okay if you leave it by because this is your out, kind of out of your syllabus. This is class tenth question, sort of. This is class tenth question. If you know, you know. If you don't know, not a problem. Yes, I'll give you a poll. Don't worry. अरे poll दे रहा हूँ मैं रुको तो सही. A then uh, b then uh, c aur uske baad we have d yes yaar mera laptop discharge hone wala hai yaar why copper wire street light mayank see copper wire the very expensive so that's why in a uh, street lights usually we go for copper wires but we we try we, we all we always go for copper wires where it is very important like transformers and everything ha huh, yes Yes, class tenth for class seventh. I know this is an injustice, but uh, it's okay. I I'll give you a very simple, very simple shortcut, and this question will become very easy. You try first of all. Live wire, fly high. आपके घर में आपके घर में दो in the socket उसमें ना दो वो होते हैं pin point, right? In one your tester glows. In one your tester does not glow. The one in which your tester glows, that is your live wire. वन इन विच योर टेस्टर डज नॉट ग्लो दट इज योर न्यूट्रल वायर है ना जिस जिस छेद में आपका टेस्टर ग्लो करता है वो होता है लाइव वायर जहां पर आपका टेस्टर ग्लो नहीं करता है वो है क्या न्यूट्रल वायर करेक्ट है जी कमान यस सी डाउट बिल्कुल यार डी डी सी सी डी डी सी Okay, justice for class seven. It's okay. See, I'm telling you one or two questions. They only give for you to leave. In Olympias, one or two questions are only given to you. They only give for you to leave. In Olympias, one or two questions are only given to you. They only give for you to leave. In Olympias, one or two questions are only given to you. They only give for you to leave. In Olympias, one or two questions are only given to you. They only give for you to leave. In Olympias, one or two questions are only given to you. They only give for you to leave. In Olympias, one or two questions are only given to you. They only give for you to leave. I'll teach. I'll, I'll teach you. Yeah, don't worry. Yes, thank you, friends. Come on, come on. Answer, answer. Yes, if you give right answer, you are intelligent as your seniors. That is true. I'll accept. I'm going to go. Bye. Question. You can put it. You can put it. You can put it. Let's go. Okay. Hello, Kamal Jyot. Seventy percent. Oh, oh, oh. Marks will go. It's okay, na? See, if negative marking is not there, I would say. If you don't know the answer, go for Tukka. Okay, what do we have? Option C, sixty-nine percent. Oh, so confidence. I'm so sick of the answer. Listen to me. I listen to you. See, this arrow is showing you the flow of current, right? This arrow is showing you the flow of current. How do you make an electromagnet, sir? I take a iron bar. Over it, I take a wire, and then I make current to flow in that wire, right? है ना? यही तो करते हैं। Simple सी बात है। Now, if you look 
एट दिस थिंग फ्रॉम हेयर अरे ये आंखें हैं ठीक है दीज आर आईज कुछ और मत समझना दीज आर आईज इफ यू लुक एट इट फ्रॉम नीचे से हेयर If you look from here, tell me, you will see current go, uh, current going clockwise or anti-clockwise? अगर तुम यहां से देखोगे ऐसे करके if you look at it from here, you will see current going clockwise or anti-clockwise? जल्दी come on. Yes. And all my desire? No, no. Relax. Bad drawing, I know. <laughs> I know, Jatin. Clockwise. गुड है ना सर वाई क्लॉक वाइज अरे लुक एट दिस ना इट इज गोइंग लाइक दिस एंड देन गोइंग इन साइड सो इफ यू लुक एट इट फ्रॉम द बॉटम यू विल सी करंट गोइंग क्लॉक वाइज एंड आई टेल यू अ वेरी सिंपल ट्रिक वेन यू सी करंट गोइंग क्लॉक वाइज राइट इफ यू सी करंट गोइंग क्लॉक वाइज इट बिकम्स योर साउथ पोल सर हाउ डू यू नो लुक एट एस दिस एस इफ यू मेक टू एरो इट इज शोइंग यू क्लॉक वाइज If you see current going clockwise like this, it is south pole. Now you tell me, if you look at from Y, if you look at it from Y, kids, we want little bit of visualization. थोड़ा सा imagination चाहिए. We want some imagination. If you look at it from Y, see this became your south pole. That is true. Yes, come on. This one Y. This Y looks how? And if you look at it from here, what will you see? Clockwise, anti-clockwise. देखो मैं बोल रहा हूं अगर आप यहां से देखोगे है ना इफ यू लुक एट इट फ्रॉम हेयर आप ऊपर देखो करंट कैसा दिखेगा क्लॉकवाइज दिखेगा कि एंटी क्लॉकवाइज दिखेगा इफ यू लुक एट इट फॉर एक्स नीचे देखोगे ना आपको दिखेगा क्लॉकवाइज एंड क्लॉकवाइज इज साउथ स्पोर्ट्स एवरीबॉडी दिस इज ऑल्सो क्लॉक सर हाउ डू यू नो अरे वॉच करंट इज गोइंग सर लाइक दिस एंड देन गोइंग इन है ना इफ यू लुक एट इट फ्रॉम हेयर करंट इज गोइंग Current is going like this and inside. It is clockwise, yeah. This is clockwise, right? This is clockwise. And clockwise means south. Clockwise means south, right? So again, you have got a clockwise, and south is clockwise, है ना? Clockwise होता है south. Sir, what is anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise is north. North. If you write n like this. so this is your anti clockwise anti clockwise is north pole clockwise is south pole so both of them become south pole right so correct answer is option b option b jaden listen to me bachcho dekho aap agar dhyan se dekho yahan se hai na if let's say you see current coming towards you in x agar aap x ko dekhoge niche se hai na if you see x from bottom what will you see you will see current in clockwise going away from you clockwise and clockwise is south if you see from y from the bottom what will you see sir you will see current is going clockwise coming towards you current is going clockwise coming towards you so this is your y and clockwise is south anti clockwise is north simple clear shout out very good nice everybody small shortcut very powerful shortcut very important shortcut and if you know this thing all these question become very easy right yes i think this is the last question i hope or second last maybe clear na samajh aa gaya bahut badhiya snow you haven't seen my shorts i have done a short why do we have glass casing over the bulb watch one minute short here just watch it no question 36 everybody come on wait 36 question kya bol raha hai sir dekh lete hain a b then uh, c and then d question number 36 read the given statements and select the correct option statement 1 woolen clothes lock in the heat and provide us warmth in cold weather statement 2 woolen fibers trap air in the pockets formed between the individual fibers a four options regular options come on yes ashish ko bula rahe the acha ट्रिक इज यूनिक अरे नहीं इट्स अ कॉमन ट्रिक पी यू वी टीच इट टू क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स नेवर फॉर क्लास सेवन बट आई जस्ट यू लेट कोई बात नहीं फिजिक्स ऑलमोस्ट ओवर है देन वी हैव लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एंड देन वी हैव बायो यस बादाम खाने पड़ेंगे इमेजिनेशन के लिए नहीं यार बदाम बदाम नहीं इमेजिनेशन तो यू गाइज आर एक्चुअली बेटर इन इमेजिनिंग देन पीपल एडल्ट हाँ जी वरुण सर कमान पांडा जी कमान 
important yes that was important come on yeah this is easy question yeah. and this is grade seven question that's a very big thing this is your slavers question and you can do it 100 votes needed we have 142 likes here people who are joining late make sure to press the like button by very important yes a ko vote kiya a ko tara lagaya jayega let's see whatever you say option c i think pavinder ji okay i'll see halwa aha मैंने सुबह ही हलवा खाया आज पता है सूजी का मस्त आई एट हलवा आई एट इट विद पूरी एंड चना ओह मजा आ गया मेरे को एकदम एंड केज इफ यू आर वंडरिंग व्हाट आई सेड इट वाज इन हिंदी सी ऑल द जोक्स मोस्टली आई आई क्रैक इन हिंदी आई एम नॉट गुड एट क्रैकिंग जोक्स इन इंग्लिश दैट्स व्हाई ओके आई एम एंडिंग द पोल हां यस ऑप्शन ए इज 68% brilliant are woolen clothes i told you woolen clothes are soft because they are puffy why are they puffy because they have air gaps in between and air is like the best superhero to insulate air is like the best super insulator you can say hai na statement one is saying woolen clothes they lock the heat and they provide us warmth in cold weather that's true why your body heat is not able to go outside why because in between there is a good insulation gone air Woolen fibers trap air in the pockets formed between the individual fibers. So correct answer becomes option A. Very simple question. Easy एकदम है ना काजू कतली बहुत बढ़िया. Aha, बिल्कुल shout out दे दो. Ambir sir, बिल्कुल यार. Nice, you're right, Premi. It's Karthik. <laughs> UGC. Okay. Question forty six by. This is this is last question I think. Question number forty six. I'll give you a poll for this. Jaldi. Today you say halwa. I don't care because I ate halwa today. It was a very nice halwa. Ah, maza aaya. A, then I will give you B, then I'll give you C. फिर दे देते हैं तुमको D और क्या? है ना? चलो भाई. What is velocity? Velocity is rate of change of displacement. Guys, it's your slavers question. Come on. If you have seen my lecture on this, it should be easy here. Yeah. एट कैन डू इट बिल्कुल आराम एट कैन डू इट यस टुडे वी गेट एंजॉइंग अलॉट वी आर ओनली ऑन फिजिक्स राइट नाउ काजू कतली खाओ सारे दुख दर्द भुलाओ अब तुम काजू कतली आई डोंट लाइक काजू कतली आई लाइक खीर कदम अंकिता मैम फेवरेट सो यू कैन टेल दिस टू अंकिता मैम शी कीप डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग काजू कतली इन आया थैंक यू मजे ही मजे अरे मजे तो तुम आंसर करो ए डोंट डोंट की बॉच आई एम वेटिंग फॉर यू मैं टाइम पर ऐसे नहीं कर रहा जल्दी मो आई आई थिंक यू मस्ट बी राइटिंग मोदक इट्स नॉट मोडल मोडल इज समथिंग इन इंग्लिश नो दे डिट टीच दिस येट ए आई टॉट यू मोशन चैप्टर तुम रेगुलर नहीं आते हो क्या सच बोलना हाँ जी ओडिया Yeah, my sister-in-law is from Odisha, but I'm very lazy in learning new language. So, Hanji, come on. Option A is 38, 38. Option B is 33. Option C is 20. Oh, back to less than 50. एक बात बताओ. Which of the following incorrect? पहले पूछा है क्या? Sir, incorrect. Correct. मत बोल देना. Question is asking you for incorrect statement, है ना? For a particle having a straight line motion shown in the given graph. अच्छा जी. Sir, graph तो लोगों लग रहा है कुछ ऐसे semi circle था ना? ठीक है. Velocity of particles increasing and hey you tell me first statement true or false हाँ जी statement one true or false इतना बताओ true or false जल्दी statement one is true समझा दो अरे समझ तो लो flying high listen to me true or false statement one false right true false velocity of particles increasing at a constant rate If velocity keeps increasing at a constant rate, means means your graph will look something like this. कुछ ऐसा. इसका मतलब पता है क्या होगा? This would mean, sir. This would mean velocity here is this. Then it is this. Then it is this. Here you can say velocity keeps increasing. But in your graph, क्या हो रहा है? Sir, in my graph, तो velocity is this one. See slope of displacement time graph gives you what velocity, है ना? So this is your velocity. After some time, this is your velocity. 
द स्लोप इज लेस देन द प्रीवियस वन सर स्लोप क्या होता है अरे स्लाइड खेला तुमने यू सिट ऑन स्लाइड एंड यू गो वी नीचे है ना दैट इज योर स्लोप जल्दी फिसल क्या होगे स्लोप ज्यादा है हल्के हल्के आओगे स्लोप कम है ठीक है है ना सो हेयर एट द सेकेंड इंस्टेंट योर स्लोप इज लेस देन सर स्लोप इज वेरी लेस देन स्लोप इज जीरो अरे मतलब बॉडी का वेलॉसिटी हो गया जीरो राइट योर बॉडी इज काइंड ऑफ डिक्रीजिंग इट्स वेलॉसिटी उसके बाद देन सर वेलॉसिटी इज इंक्रीजिंग ओ हो सर ये तो गलत है फर्स्ट वन इज फॉल्स जी वॉटर मेलन ए वॉट आर यू वॉट एम टॉकिंग वॉट यू आर टॉकिंग इधर ध्यान दो सेकेंड वन फर्स्ट फॉल्स है ना फर्स्ट वन इज फॉल्स लेट्स कम टू सेकेंड पार्टिकल इज मूविंग विद डिक्रीजिंग वेलॉसिटी फ्रॉम ओ टू पी हा सर दिस इज तो राइट यार ओ टू पी द स्लोप इज डिक्रीजिंग ओनली एट पी इट बिकम जीरो जीरो स्लोप मीन जीरो वेलॉसिटी एंड बिकम जीरो एट पॉइंट पी यार ये तो सच है सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज अ गुड बॉय टेलिंग द ट्रूथ सच बोल रहा है भाई ये है ना ट्रू है ना समझ नहीं आ रहा अमेर अरे वॉच द मोशन का चैप्टर वॉच मोशन वन शॉट एंड स्पेशली फॉर ग्राफ्स आई है स्पेशल सेशन ये तुम लोग सेशन नहीं देखते मेरे को लगता है ना Go and check the special graph का सेशन If you don't find it, ask me in the comment section. I'll tell you. ठीक है Fine. Question number थ्री The sorry, statement number थ्री The average velocity of the particle is zero. Third वाला is true or false? Speed versus velocity. Speed is scalar quantity. Velocity is vector quantity. Speed is distance per time. Velocity is the state of time. time. Watch the motion chapter. I'm telling you again. False. सारी हसी निकल गई Velocity. Watch the motion chapter. I'm telling you, grade seven students, yeah, you should watch. You have to course. Mein hai. Average velocity ka formula kya hota hai? Arey, average velocity is what? Sir, total displacement upon total time. Ab total displacement kitna hai iska? What is the total displacement for this graph? Sir, displacement is shortest distance between initial position and final position. The body starts from zero displacement. It is ending at zero displacement. Total displacement is kitna? Zero. अरे भैया जीरो है दिस इज जीरो टाइम टेकन आई डोंट केयर जीरो अपॉन समथिंग आई डोंट केयर इट इज जीरो ओनली अरे भाई एवरेज वेलोसिटी बिकम्स जीरो सो करेक्ट आंसर इज वन ओनली इजी यस राइट करेक्ट हाँ बोल गए थ्री और फोर टाइम्स ओ नाइस वेरी गुड एवरीबॉडी क्लियर है टेल मी इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन बढ़िया दिस वॉज लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ फिजिक्स बाय द वे Now we'll do logical reasoning. Graph question and people who are facing difficulty in graph. Two things for you. Watch the motion one shot. Motion and time for you guys. Grade seventh, we have done it. Second, watch the graphic based question. Graphical question based question. Thirty minute session for you. Okay, fine. Not clear. Priya, are Priya, my friend. I'm telling you, bacha. This is very important. Watch the motion chapter because this is exactly from your syllabus, and I've taught this to you. Go and check it out. Fine, ठीक है? कुछ नहीं है. Slope का यहाँ पे decrease हो रहा है. At P, slope is zero, which means velocity at P is zero. So option uh, second statement is true. Last wala is telling you average velocity is zero, which means total displacement is zero, and that is also true. Yes. What about Menti? Rinku sir, Menti करेंगे यार. तुम पहले बोलो प्यार तो करो. सी को ताला लगा दिया जाए बहुत अच्छे वेरी गुड लगा दिया ताला सो एवरीबॉडी वैसे सी गलत था इट्स टाइम फॉर लॉजिकल रीजनिंग रेडी टू मेक श्योर द हॉर्सेस ऑफ योर ब्रेन स्टार्ट रनिंग फास्ट जल्दी बताओ दिमाग के घोड़े दौड़ाने को तैयार हो मजे ही मजे हाँ बहुत अच्छे लॉजिकल रीजनिंग है भाई लॉजिक लगेगा इसमें एकदम जो फ्री के मार्क्स हाँ आई आई ऑलवेज टेल यू लॉजिकल रीजनिंग फ्री के मार्क्स है एंड नेवर गेट इमोशनल विद अ क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन क्या है बेवफा है है ना तो क्वेश्चन विल नेवर विल नेवर यू नो क्वेश्चन धोखा देगा तुमको ठीक है फाइन इफ यू फाइंड डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन गो एंड लीव इट उसको बोलो आई एम नॉट लुकिंग एट यू ठीक है फाइन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन है भाई हाई जोश बहुत बढ़िया <laughs> तुम रील कम देखो ये मोई मोई बहुत चल रहा है These guys are doing that. Moi, moi. Ahika is standing to the north of Sumit. ठीक है. Priyanka is standing to the east of Ahika. Puneet is to the west of Sumit. What is the position of Puneet with respect to Priyanka? कोई sense है इस question का? है. तुम करो तो. And everybody, I hope you have your pen notebook with you. ठीक है. कोई inky ponky नहीं करेगा. I'm good, यार Priyanka. How are you? Josh, hi, है ना बहुत अच्छे. बताइए रहना चाहिए. 
I don't want any inky ponky in this question. Very easy question. Pull the nagga dumko. You want pull, huh? No, no, I've given. You have given pull. Oh, nice. By the way, Ashura ma'am is in the house. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Very good. What is the reflection? Priyanshi, ye to wohi baat ho gayi. Ramayan khatam ho gayi. Pull ne ra answer kaun the? Arey reflection, mere dost light ka chapter hai, right? Hai na? Less than forty hai. Oof. Yes, come on. Oh, I'll give you five more seconds. Huh? I'm good here. Thank you. Thank you. People who are joining late, we are doing logical reasoning. First question of logical reasoning. And I hope you have pressed like button. 158 like. Very conjusy is a like. Get well soon here. Very high fever. Oh, Catherine. Get well soon here. And still you are continuing from the starting. Proud of you. Very good. Chalo, hai. Three, two, one. Let's end the poll. Are suno. Dekho. Pehle baat karte hai, hum log kiski? Ahika is to the north of Sumit. Yera Sumit. Tick. North me kone. Ahika. And before that, I hope all of you know this. North, south, east, west. Pura pachi mutta dachim. Tidi. Pel like a retuna both. But a chiva chua. Or is there a orogosic how a chapana? Chero. Sumit either Ahika is to the north of Sumit. Both. Then what do we have? Priyanka is standing to the east of Ahika. East matlab sir. Acha either. Okay. East of Ahika. This is who? This is Priyanka. ठीक है. Priyanka is to the east of Ahika. Then we have कौन है फिर? Puneet. Puneet is to the west of Sumit. अच्छा जी. West of Sumit मतलब सर. Okay. इस side ना. This is my Puneet. Okay. And please write Priyanka में P R and Puneet में P U. Otherwise you will say कौन Priyanka कौन Puneet दोनों P हैं. ठीक है. What is the position of Puneet with respect to Priyanka? Puneet और Priyanka का क्या रिश्ता है? That is the question. This is your Priyanka. This is your Puneet. Priyanka to Puneet, right? Don't go Puneet to Priyanka. Are, Priyanka yeri. Okay? And Puneet yera. If any of you are Ahika, Puneet, Sumit or Priyanka, you can give a shout out to yourself. Okay? Priyanka is here, Puneet is here. Matlab, it is, sir, this is looking like southwest. So, asan ho gaya, Option B is the right answer. 81 live is 60 like. Are, shop hub. Log aate hain aur jate hain. So, that happens, that is why. Southwest, haan, very good, na? Easy question था यारे दिल में तीर भी नहीं मारा easy question come on ए easy question था option भी the right answer question number two water ए it's a mirror image question यार I've given you a shot इस पे तो answer सही आना चाहिए बता रहा हूँ मैं हाँ जी संतोष see if you get stage one clear you will go to stage two है ना तो थोड़ा extra effort हो जाए come on very good south west that was true चलो जी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर दुई वांट पुनी प्रियंका आई का सुमिरा यस देखा था ना शॉट वेरी गुड सी आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट इज नॉट चीटिंग दैट इज बीइंग स्मार्ट ओलंपियाड इज ऑल अबाउट बीइंग स्मार्ट डाइस क्वेश्चन आएगा यू शुड हैव अ रबर इफ इट्स अ वाटर इमेज क्वेश्चन यू शुड हैव अ पेपर एंड अ स्केच पेन चालू होने का एकदम हां जी आई नो आई नो बच्चा दैट्स ट्रू अरे वाह नाइस फ्रॉम ओडिशा आई हैव बीन टू पारादीप अरे जल्दी बताओ यो यो एडिट्स डी में भी हाँ ओके यार इट्स अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन आई एम टेलिंग यू वर्टिकली टू द लेफ्ट है मिरर टर्न राइट टू लेफ्ट फॉर मिरर ओके चलो आई गिव यू फाइव मोर सेकंड्स ना फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन एंड हलवा तो मैंने खाया है आई डोंट केयर यस ऑप्शन ऑप्शन नंबर डी 69 परसेंट हाँ अच्छा इसमें ऑल अबाउ 50 परसेंट है फिजिक्स में तुमको क्या हो गया था सांप सुन गया था लेस देन 50 इन ऑल क्वेश्चंस ऑप्शन नंबर डी यू आर टेलिंग मी हाँ ठीक है लेसन तुम्हें अरे मिरर इज वेयर वर्टिकली टू द लेफ्ट यानी कि मिरर इज दिस अब यार एक बात बताओ मिरर में क्या होता है लेटरल इन्वर्जन सो योर दिस चेक चेक बॉक्स विल कम ओवर हेयर टक 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 देन योर क्लीन क्लीन बॉक्स विल कम ओवर हेयर अरे वाह then your clean box and your check box are wow. tell me yahan dikh raha hai ye sir this looks like a to nahi hai sir ye to b bhi nahi hai this is not looking like a c also are what is the answer easy question hai yaar all these are free ka number i'm telling you theek hai all these are free marks number nahi katne chahiye chalo come on next hey when diagram question yaar and if you have been regular see if you want to practice logical reasoning Please watch all Olympiad sessions we have done for 8th, for 6th, for 7th. Because logical reasoning, 
सीज नो बाउंड्रीज लॉजिकल रीजनिंग का कोई वो नहीं है भाई ईमानदारम इट विल गो इक्वली फॉर ऑल ठीक है फाइन यस कब ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑन योर स्क्रीन अच्छा बोर्ड पे लिख दू इतना डिमांड आई कैन ओनली कॉल आउट हाँ तो नहीं ये नहीं नहीं देवर वेटिंग फॉर बायोलॉजी यस इट्स ओके इट्स ओके कम ऑन यस नेक्स्ट विल बी बायोलॉजी एश्वर्य मैम फिनिश द क्लास वेरी क्विकली टू ज्वाइन यू गाइज बट तुम लोग लेट करवा रहे हो जल्दी करो ओह नाइस यार इफको पारादीप आई एम गोइंग टू इफको पारादीप टाउनशिप तुम एड्रेस में पूछना हाँ जी कम ऑन डाउट सोदा आज रोटो बच्चा बायो नहीं करना है <laughs> फिर तो ओलंपियाड हो गया राइट ओलंपियाड विल से बाय बाय You science comes together by you don't have an option, sir. I like physics. I don't like bio. <laughs> That's okay. Ah, uh, come on. I saw this a very long time. Lemon squeegee. I think I thought you forgot this thing. Come on. Pani pilo, yar. Bilkul kisi baat kar do. You like bio na? Bio to bada. I like bio. It was my favorite in class ten. Three, two, one. Let's end the poll. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Doubt. Arey, don't write doubt. You ask the doubt. Option number A, seventy-five percent. Wah, Jio, mere lal. Which of the following number will represent the number of students using laptops, computers, and tablets? Arey, bhai, dekho. See, tri triangle is what? Laptops. Circle is what? Computer. Tablet is what? Uh, sorry uh, rectangle is tablet so what do you want sir i want something which is common in triangle also rectangle also circle also kya hai bhai common ek baat batao sir 25 only triangle 19 na 17 na 23 na 22 na 21 na are wah 24 easy answer is option a very easy hai na a ko tar laga diya ja laga diya lock kar diya bhai aapka jawab sahi hai aap jeete hain 1 crore rupya chalo aajo astrophysics is your favorite oh nice a kaise Listen to me. You want something which is common in triangle, rectangle, and circle. What do you see in all the numbers which is common in all three? The center wala number, twenty-four. Easy, ekdom, hai na? Right? Chalo. Next question. Hey, we want some imagination now. Everybody, start imagining. Count the number of cubes in the given figure. देखो, it's a very easy question. Sometimes these question can be difficult. I'll tell you. This one is easy, right? But if you see this question and you feel like I can't get it, leave it for the end, right? I'm saying don't get emotional to such questions. If you are lucky, you will get an easy one. If you are not lucky, you will get a difficult one. Don't get attached to such questions because there is no short tricks for them as such. Guranj, UBI ID, उनको भी नहीं मिलता है. What is my name? Guranj, my name is Zara. <laughs> nice one, Premi. Srijal, this is your stage two preparation. So, answer, answer. Srishti, we are in Bangalore. That is the switching which happens every time. Kriti, ma'am is in Delhi. We are in Bangalore. We talk on phone. See, तुम कितना real देखते होगे? Yes. बाय अरे बायो बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग है तुमको पता नहीं अभी यस सी 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 ओके थ्री टू वन डन एट्थ का हो गया इट वॉज ऑन मंड तुम भूल गए एट्थ को आई वॉज हेयर टिल इलेवन फिफ्टीन दैट्स वाई आई रिमेंबर बहुत गाली पड़ी मेरे को घर पे हाँ जी इमेज इज गिविंग मी हेड एक ईशान लवलिस्ट अरे सुनो ना देखो थोड़ा सा इमेजिनेशन तो है यार इसमें I'll, I'll try to explain. Otherwise, I want all your gaming minds. देखो भाई, this is one, two, three, four will be three के नीचे. Four will be just below three ना. 
सो आई विल से सर थ्री के नीचे देर इज फोर ठीक है आई गॉट फोर क्यूब्स ना नॉट दिस इज फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन राइट ओके सर देन इफ यू सी दिस क्यूब क्यूब नंबर एट बिलो क्यूब नंबर एट हाउ मेनी क्यूब शुड बी देर बिलो दिस क्यूब नंबर एट हाउ मेनी क्यूब शुड बी देर भाई अगर उसको वो वहां खड़ा हुआ है नीचे कुछ तो होगा ना हवा में थोड़ी खड़ा है शक्तिमान की तरह से हाँ जी हाउ मेनी क्यूब्स आर देयर बिलो एट सर टू क्यूब्स वाई बिकॉज एट इज जस्ट वन लेवल अब दिस राइट सो बिलो एट वी हैव नाइन एंड टेन करेक्ट राइट सर ओके राइट बिलो थ्री वी हैव फोर ठीक है फोर नंबर नॉट फोर क्यूब्स फाइन सर वी आर डन विथ टेन नाउ वॉट डू वी हैव सर दिस बिकम्स इलेवन दिस बिकम ट्वेल्व बिलो ट्वेल्व इज देर अ क्यूब ये सर नो भाई ट्वेल्व इज वन लेवल अब इलेवन ना सो मीन्स बिलो ट्वेल्व देर शुड बी वन क्यूब अगैन द रूल इज सिंपल नो क्यूब हैज एनी सुपर पावर राइट एवरी क्यूब नीड्स सपोर्ट टू स्टैंड सो भाई बारह के नीचे कुछ तो होगा एक क्यूब है ना राइट बिलो ट्वेल्व वट डू यू हैव सर आई हैव थर्टीन दिस इज फोर्टीन नंबर आंसर इज फोर्टीन Yes. हाँ ब्रेक के बाद ओके यू ड्रिंक एच टू करेक्ट आंसर इज फोर्टीन बाई आई एम टेलिंग यू इट्स ऑल अबाउट इमेजिनेशन इट वॉज इजी क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज दीज क्वेश्चन समटाइम्स आर टफ एंड आई एम सेदर गिव अ तुक्का और यू लीव इट आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑन द फेस डू इट ठीक है फाइन सुजल अरे तुम टॉक करोगे अभी रिलैक्स हाँ तुक्का मारा था क्या ठीक है फाइन क्वेश्चन सॉरी आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बाई नेक्स्ट वन ए दीज आर द Very easy questions. कुछ नहीं है This question is very easy. In this, I want more than seventy percent. Okay, I won't be greedy. Huh? I would say more than seventy percent. Can we get more than seventy percent answer for this question? दो के ऊपर है हाँ yes. अरे पूरे session में तो मोए मोए कर रहे हो. जल्दी आओ जल्दी कमांड करो. अरे real कम देखा करो तू. This this proves How much time you are spending on Insta? KBC में जाएंगे तो कितने क्वेश्चन कर पाएंगे V denotes what minus. Then find the value of 16u, 12s, 4t, 9v, 3. Now, Brianchi, these are very easy. If you have a pen and notebook, then this question is easy. If you are doing mental calculation, then it is impossible. Bigger than real, see. Thank you, thank you, Sudha. Come on, come on. Arey answer 70 more than 70. I am telling you. Upar chhiye mere ko 70. I'll go out. Arey nahi ruk jao. I'll go out after. नो स्क्रीन इज क्लियर स्क्रीन इज अरे चेंज द वीडियो सेटिंग ना जस्ट टुक फिजिक्स नाइस या फिजिक्स टुक टाइम टूडे मेंटली इट इज पॉसिबल आई वुड स्टिल रिकमेंड गो विथ पेन एंड नोटबुक गो विद रफ कैलकुलेशन मेंटली द प्रॉब्लम इज इट माइट डिसीव यू समे है ना सो दैट्स वाई सेवेंटी चाहिए सर को हाँ भाई सेवेंटी चाहिए हो रहा है क्या सेवेंटी नहीं सिक्सटी पेट का हुआ यार तो ठीक है आई गिव यू थ्री मोर सेकंड ना थ्री टू वन लेट्स एंड द पूल खाना अभी कहाँ मना कम यस सी इस फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट ओके दिस इस फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट अरे कलर चूज कर लेते हैं यार अच्छा वाला फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट ठीक है एक बात बताओ सर 16 u u मतलब सर व्हाट इज u u u u u इज पॉजिटिव 16 प्लस व्हाट इज देन 12 12 s s s s का है भाई s डिनोट्स डिवीजन अच्छा 12 डिवीजन 4 ओके देन वी हैव t t मतलब सर t t t t t t t t t t इज मल्टीप्लिकेशन ओके देन वी हैव 9 9 9 ये रहा देन वी हैव v v v v v माइनस है माइनस 3 अरे थर्ड क्लास किड विल डू इट यार 16 प्लस ट्वेल्व बाई फोर कौन सा रूल है क्या बोलते हैं उसको बॉ वॉट बॉ 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 वॉट मास है ना जी बी ओ डी 
एम ए एस अब ब्रैकेट और ऑफ तो है नहीं स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डिवीजन लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डिवीजन सर लेट सॉल्व डिवीजन फर्स्ट ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाई थ्री सॉरी डिवाइड बाई फोर मतलब सर दिस इज थ्री थ्री प्लस सिक्सटीन देन वट वी हैव सर वी हैव इंटू नाइन माइनस थ्री देन नेक्स्ट इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन नाइन इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस ऑफ थ्री प्लस ऑफ सिक्सटीन हाँ जी ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस थ्री कितना होता है सर प्लस कर लो ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस सिक्सटीन माइनस थ्री नाउ यू कैन डू इट टूगेदर सर दिस विल कम आउट टू बी हाउ मच फोर्टी करेक्ट यस एग्जाम पास है लो तुम्हारे पोल करते करते द लैपटॉप इज गोइंग टू डिस्चार्ज और कितना है इट्स ओके इट्स ओके यस वेरी गुड आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी एंड वी गॉट फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट करेक्ट आंसर दैट वॉज अ गुड थिंग चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स फटाफट करेंगे भाई है ना अदरवाइज बहुत लेट करवाओगे तुम मैम को जल्दी बताओ अच्छा जी अनुराग हम्म वेरी स्मार्ट ना यस कम ऑन टाइम आउट का मतलब होता है जैसे वो क्लास में नहीं होता गेट आउट दैट इज कॉल्ड टाइम आउट फॉर थिंग सेलेक्ट द ऑर्ड वन आउट ए दिस इज आई डोंट लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन दैट मच इसमें कोई बहुत ज्यादा लॉजिक नहीं है टूडे आई मो इज कम्प्लीटेड वेरी गुड स्क्रीन इज नॉट क्लियर यार आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर लाइक इन माई लैपटॉप इट इज फाइन या इंक्रीज दीडियो सेटिंग बट दीज आरिंग विद सेटिंग ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट इंक्रीजिंग एडवांस सेटिंग्स अच्छा इन सेटिंग गो टू एडवांस सेटिंग एंड देन यू गो टू सेवन ट्वेंटी पी आई नॉट अवेरी टेकी टेकी गाय अरे दिस क्वेश्चन डज नॉट नीड पोल यार दिस इज इट्स एम आई क्वेश्चन ओके अच्छा यू टेल मी इफ यू आर क्लिकिंग वॉट इज योर लॉजिक विद आंसर गिव मी द लॉजिक ऑल्सो ऑलरेडी डिड आ वेरी गुड टेल मी द लॉजिक ऑल्सो वॉट वाई डू यू थिंक योर आंसर इज एंड इफ यू थिंक टूका आफ्टर आंसर यू कैन से टूका ऑल्सो यस अरे वाह नाइस मी दू क्वेश्चन मार्क बट आई चूज वन वन जीरो एट जीरो इट इज इवन नंबर ओके अरे सुनो ना यार इवन तो फिफ्टी भी फिफ्टी इज इवन ट्वेल्व इज इवन ट्वेंटी थ्री इज ऑर्ड सिक्सटी सेवन इज ऑर्ड सर आई डोंट नो देन ट्वेल्व इज फोर इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री इज प्राइम नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन इज ऑल्सो प्राइम नंबर आई थिंक फिफ्टी इज ऑल्सो नहीं फिफ्टी तो प्राइम नहीं है इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग पता है क्या है वन प्लस टू थ्री टू प्लस थ्री फाइव फाइव प्लस जीरो फाइव सिक्स प्लस सेवन थर्टीन आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ए लप्पू सा क्वेश्चन था एकदम ऑप्शन डी इज सिक्सटी सेवन लॉजिक इज यू एड टू नंबर एंड ओनली वन ऑप्शन हैज मोर देन टेन सो दैट वाई सिक्सटी सेवन ए कुछ भी लॉजिक है इसमें यस ओके बढ़िया लॉजिक वॉज यू एड द टू नंबर ऑल द थ्री ऑप्शन आर लेस देन टेन लास्ट वन इज मोर देन टेन इज थर्टीन सो दैट वाई ऐसा कुछ नहीं है यस yes, ठीक है प्लस ही कर रहे थे क्या वेरी गुड सी लॉजिक इज नॉट मच लॉजिक बट इट्स जस्ट इफ यू गेट इट यू गेट इट अदरवाइज यू लीव इट आई एम टेलिंग यू अगैन इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम यू शुड बी अवेयर यू शुड बी स्मार्ट अबाउट वॉट टू लीव राइट हु इज योर्स एंड इज योर हु इज योर फ्रेंड हु इज योर एनिमी यू शुड नो दैट सुधा जी वेरी गुड इफ यू आर हेयर मारो मुझे मारो क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ए फोल्डिंग पेपर क्वेश्चन इट इज सेम एज मिरर वेज वाला क्वेश्चन यार आई वॉन्ट इट इज मैं तो कैन आई एक्सपेक्ट मोर देन सेवेंटी यू टेल मी पूछू के ना पूछू बोलू के ना बोलू ट्वेंटी थ्री नो प्राइम नहीं सिक्सटी सेवन क्या है ऑल्सो प्राइम नो अच्छा प्राइम मिनिस्टर सर ज्वाइन माई चैनल क्या इज इट यस इनाया ट्राई दट एडवांस सेटिंग वाला थिंग नो गो टू सेटिंग एडवांस सेटिंग गो टू सेवन ट्वेंटी पी Yes, Ashwarya ma'am is waiting. She is running all your polls. Or how many? Question number seven. Is. After that, three questions are. Now, think if we had started at seven p.m., what would happen? Hey, this is very easy question, yar. We don't want to spend time on this question. Come on. Poll is there, Priya. It is running. Yes. Yes. 
you don't understand are this is like folding paper question first you take a circle you fold it like this that is your first one second you fold it like this that is your second one and then you cut these holes i mean i i'm not saying anything but you can try it with your some sheet of paper i mean but theek hai yes eh koi moh moh nahi hoga bahut moh moh ho gaya come on okay let's see Three, two, one. Nice. Palavi, it is a good answer, Paradeep. It's in the beginning of Paradeep only. Hanji, come on. Option B. <laughs> Correct answer would be here. Ek baar batao. You just listen to me very carefully. Highlight and niche mere ko. I want a pen. Ye kya ho gaya? La 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 la. Hanji. This one. When you. Oh, re 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 re. I'm going with highlighter again and again. Yes. Ha. Huh. When you open this cutting, it will look like a mirror. Imagine there is a mirror over here. What will you get, sir? This will get completed. Uh, this will become like this, right? That's it. Then you will get one like this, and you will get a, a hole over here, and you will get a hole over here. Fine. Then if you open this circle, then what will happen? Again. Imagine you have a mirror over here. Next time, imagine you have a mirror over here. I'm telling you again, these are like mirror wala question, yar. I gave you a shortcut. Then it will get open like this. It will open like this. It will open like this. You have one, two. Then you have one circle. Then you have one, two. What is it? It looks like option B. Easy. Yes. Yes, went. Spam करने से क्या होगा? चलिए बताओ. Come on. Imagination is power. That is, I can't agree more. Yeah, that's true. Chalo, question number eight. A question number eight is easy. Just don't get tangled in this figure, huh? Kritagya Mishra. Nice. I love difficult names. Question number eight. Jaldi batao. Select a figure from the options which is exactly embedded in the given figure as one of its parts. Suno ji, Hindi me. Listen to me. सेलेक्ट अ फिगर फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन एम्बेडेड मतलब सर उसके अंदर मैं उसको ढूंढ सकता हूं एम्बेडेड मतलब कहीं मिल जाएगा है ना एम्बेडेड मतलब क्या बोलेगा यार हिंदी एम्बेडेड मतलब फिक्स ठूसा हुआ है नहीं अरे कुछ होगा राइट सेलेक्ट अ फिगर फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन विच इज एग्जैक्टली एम्बेडेड इन द गिवन फिगर इस फिगर में इन चार ऑप्शन में से कौन सी फिगर आपको मिल जाएगी एग्जैक्टली exactly? Yes. हाँ जी कौन 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 बी शिवलिंग से बी रुद्रा डी ये अरे चले कोई बात नहीं चलो तुम तो मैं क्यों यू सेट फर्स्ट हाँ जी बिल्कुल डी 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 नहीं समझा नहीं समझा अरे आई टेल यू वेन यू एक्सप्लेन द आंसर टू यू यू विल गेट इट ठाकरोगे नंबर लेके पढ़ लिख लो बेटा ऐसा नहीं मिलेगा नंबर हाँ जी कमान नहीं समझा क्या अरे लिसन देखो आउट ऑफ दीज फोर फिगर्स विच फिगर कैन यू फाइंड एग्जैक्टली इन दिस इमेज मतलब सर ए लुक्स लाइक दिस ना Can you find something like this? Okay, let's see. Uh, can you find something like this? So this, then uh, this, then this, then this. But sir, this one, in this, this is thoda thick compared to this one, na? Hmm. Right. And there is one more problem, sir. I can see this line also in between. Na, no, yar. A, A, A does not work. Let's see B. B may you want a square and then you want something like this, na? Do you have something like this? No, yar. B to is not there. C, C may what do you want, sir? I want first a triangle like this. Acha, do you have a triangle like this, sir? I think I have a triangle, maybe. And then what do you want, sir? Next I want a triangle here, but it does not have a triangle. No, so it means C is also wrong. Let's see D. Getting my point, what I'm trying to explain. Let's see D. Sir, D looks like this, na? Uh, okay. 
it means sir d looks like this this is my one second is this is ah sir d is okay i can find d yes ha so da bilkul yaar hum ghar jayenge option d is the right answer chalo aa jao next question number 9 सेकेंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर लॉजिकल रीजनिंग बच्चों फटाफट यू सेट फर्स्ट वेरी गुड यू फिनिश योर एनएसओ रचित यू विल गो फॉर स्टेज टू ऑल्सो यू विल नीड हेल्प ऑल दिस विल हेल्प एर एर फोर जीरो फोर ट्राई रिफ्रेशिंग शुक्रिया टेक केयर यस आई एम गुड रचना हाउ यू हाउ मेनी सच पेयर ऑफ लेटर्स आर देयर इन द वर्ड मैथमेटिक्स each of which has as many letters between them in the word as there are in the english alphabet kitne log ke sar se upar se gaya question ye how many of you how many of you found this question as a bouncer yes so hey my friend is saurabh sorry my my name is saurabh my friend is saurabh yes me 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 hai na matlab How many such pairs of letters are there in the word mathematics, each of which has as many letters between them in the word as there are in the English alphabet? Like, for example, uh, uh, la 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 la. I'm trying to find a word actually. A uh, a. Hmm. Huh, let's say I write arc, right? Let's say I write one word as arc. In actual alphabets, we have A, B, C. Between A and C, I have one letter B, right? Similarly, here A is one. This is two. This is three. A is one. B is two. C is three. So arc and A B C. So in alphabetical order, A B C. this is also present in this word arc similar thing similar thing is the question asking you yes get my point in actual alphabetical order whatever position of the two letters you have in between there should be equal gap hai na like arc between a and c you should have one gap na similarly a b c correct hai na man kar raha tha oh nice very good it is still bouncer nahi yeah this is not bouncer see to solve these questions no how many of you have seen the short i sent you last week there was a short which was sent on the channel a to z how to remember these ranks of the letters kitne logo ko yaad hai han ji bas bas kusuma bye uske baad hi hai ekdam jaldi batao how many of you remember you saw na simple right important thing is we should be able to get the ranks of letters very quickly means sir mathematics m a t h e m a t i c s now tell me m is what let me change the color m is m is sir looks like a 3 13 a is 1 t is 20 t 20 h is 8 e is 5 m is 13 a is 1 t 20 i 9 i 9 i 9 c is 3 s is 19 sir how do you know s s say my name is there so i remember s 19 theek hai अब क्वेश्चन बोल रहा है 13 नाउ यू चेक इट लाइक दिस एवरीबॉडी फोकस बहुत ध्यान से है ना जस्ट फोकस 13 व्हाट डू यू वांट 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 आहा ओ आई गॉट 20 यू गेट माय पॉइंट सर 13 के बाद आई वांट 14 देन 15 देन 16 देन 17 देन 18 देन 19 देन 20 ओए दिस इज 20 इट मैचेस सो एम एंड टी इज वन पेयर गेटिंग माय पॉइंट एम एंड टी इज वन पेयर सो बी लिसन टू मी आई एम टेलिंग यू गो विद सीक्वेंस क्वेश्चन इज टेलिंग यू फाइंड टू फाइंड द पेयर्स इन व्हिच द सीक्वेंस मैचेस एग्जैक्टली एज इन द अल्फाबेटिकल ऑर्डर राइट so m a t i j k l m n o p n o p q r s t are it is same right aisa hua correct 
सो एम एन टी इज वन पेयर करेक्ट राइट एम एन ओ पी क्यू आर एस टी अरे वाह सर ये तो सेम आ गया राइट ओके लेट्स फाइंड और अदर अदर पेयर ना लेट सी लेट सी वन पेयर वी हैव गॉट एम एंड टी ना ठीक है लेट सी लेट सी अरे रुक जाओ काम चल रहा है कंस्ट्रक्शन का हाँ जी लेट सी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन नो नो पेयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट सर नो पेयर एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सर नो पेयर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन ओ ओ ई एंड आई ई एंड आई सर कैसे ई ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच आई अरे वाह सर आई एंड आई मैच वी फाउंड वन मोर पेयर राइट ओके थर्टीन थर्टीन के आगे डी यू सी थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन नो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नो ट्वेंटी नो नाइन नो थ्री नो बस वी हैव गॉट टू पेयर्स एम एंड टी एंड ई एंड आई गेटिंग द लॉजिक सी इफ यू डोंट नो दिस क्वेश्चन आई एम आई एम हैप्पी टू टेल यू यू कैन लीव दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है क्लियर हो गया है ना सो आई नो दिस वॉज अ टफ क्वेश्चन सो करेक्ट आंसर इज टू With this, we go to the last question, and this is an important question here. Last question, it's okay if you leave in the exam. It's okay. Question number ten. This is important. It is easy. It is doable, and you have to solve it. Hanji, what time? Or lagega? Nay, nay. This last question is Science Studio episode three. Shop up. We are thinking. Look, job. First, entries to send. Me too. Come on. Very good, yeah. I'm good with the gear. Oh, nice, sir. Come on. Question number ten, bacho. Last question on your screen. Which of the following options satisfies the same conditions of placement of dots as in the given figure? Similar question was in class eight Olympiad. Similar question was in class six Olympiad. So please, if you want to practice, watch our grade six and grade eight Olympiads, especially logical reasoning. बहुत जरूरी है. Come on, so here I told you my name. My name is Saurabh. Question. So just question. बोलो ना. अरे कितने लोगों को पहले ये बताओ. How many of you, when you see this question, you don't understand it. Sir, question में I have dots, but in options I don't have any dots. What to do? Does anybody has this doubt? किसी को ये doubt है? Sir, I can see dots in the question, but I don't see any dots in the option. What do you mean? जल्दी बताओ डू यू हैव दिस डाउट कुसुमा यू हैव दिस डाउट राइट यस नो राइट सी आई टेल यू दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इजी वाई लुक एट दिस डॉट विसर विच डॉट दिस वाला डॉट नंबर वन लेट से डॉट नंबर वन इज वेयर सर इट इज ओनली इन साइड द सर्कल लुक फॉर डॉट विच यू कैन फाइंड and you can place them only inside the circle it should not overlap with something else matlab sir circle only circle na see here if you place the dot it is inside square so this is not possible sir i can place the dot here dot number 1 i can place the dot here dot number 1 i can place the dot here dot number 1 theek hai let's take some other color let's take uh, purple this is dot number 2 dot number 2 is between सर्कल एंड रेक्टेंगल है ना डॉट नंबर टू इज बिटवीन सर्कल एंड रेक्टेंगल लेट्स सी वेर इज डॉट नंबर टू बिटवीन सर्कल रेक्टेंगल ठीक है सर ए तो डिस्कालीफाइड है बिटवीन सर्कल रेक्टेंगल डॉट नंबर टू डन सर्कल रेक्टेंगल डॉट नंबर टू डन सर्कल रेक्टेंगल ओनली सर्कल रेक्टेंगल ना सर ठीक है डॉट नंबर टू डन ओके फाइन लेट्स टेक वन मोर कलर भाई लेट्स टेक रेड दिस इज माई डॉट नंबर थ्री डॉट नंबर थ्री इज बिटवीन सर्कल एंड स्क्वेयर राइट डॉट नंबर थ्री इज बिटवीन सर्कल एंड स्क्वेयर लेट्स चेक बिटवीन सर्कल एंड स्क्वेयर सर डॉट नंबर थ्री इज पॉसिबल हेयर डॉट नंबर यार डॉट नंबर थ्री इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन बी ना बिकॉज इफ यू पुट डॉट एनी वेयर इन सर्कल स्क्वेयर तो यहां पे है देर इज नथिंग ओवर लैपिंग बिटवीन सर्कल एंड स्क्वेयर सो ऑप्शन बी इज गॉन बिटवीन सर्कल एंड स्क्वेयर राइट अरे वाह सर आई कैन पुट डॉट थ्री ओवर हेयर नाइस ओनली वन डॉट लेफ्ट ना लेट्स चेंज कलर लेट्स टेक कौन सा 
लेट्स टेक यार कलर भी खत्म हो गया अब तो लेट्स टेक ग्रीन दिस इज माई डॉट नंबर फोर डॉट नंबर फोर इज वेयर सर डॉट नंबर फोर इज बिटवीन सर्कल रेक्टेंगल एंड स्क्वेयर राइट ऑल थ्री ऑल थ्री नाउ यू टेल मी वी हैव ओनली टू ऑप्शन लेफ्ट ऑप्शन सी एंड ऑप्शन डी कैन यू प्लेस अ डॉट कैन यू प्लेस अ डॉट विच इज कॉमन इन ऑल थ्री ऑप्शन सी डिस्कालीफाइज वाई बिकॉज ऑप्शन सी में रेक्टेंगल एंड स्क्वेयर हैव नथिंग इन कॉमन सो ऑप्शन सी इज गॉन हेयर यू कैन प्लेस द डॉट ओवर हेयर डॉट नंबर फोर एंड दैट्स हाउ ऑप्शन डी बिकम्स द राइट आंसर and with this we are done with logical reasoning as well yes we took a lot of time very good theek okay. hai feeling good feeling confident kaisa laga tumko projector nahi nahi this is not projector this is a, a tablet sort of a thing yes yes everybody we want some narebazi for ashwarya ma'am everybody then only she will come what so i was writing in your session वो मैं तो तेरा मन भर गया वन लाइक फॉर ऐश्वर्या अरे नहीं रे बायो इज वेरी गुड इट्स वेरी स्कोरिंग दैट्स वाई गवान ब्रेक यू वॉन्ट ब्रेक हाँ अरे नहीं इट विल बी बॉट हाउ मन फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन मिनट्स में 15 20 minutes hopefully hi aunty hi 5 minutes break you want 5 minutes break everybody acha chalo shall we give a poll for the break do you want 5 minute break we'll give you a poll yes are lo theek hai moe moe khush reel kam dikha karo tum log yes ha are ruko to sahi ya ya ना वेट वेट गिविंग ब्रेक रिलैक्स दे रहे हैं ब्रेक बच्चा रुको तो सही हाँ यस रशील एवरीबॉडी सो मीन वाइल यू आर क्लिकिंग ऑन द पोल प्लीज क्लिक द लाइक बटन लाइक कम नहीं रहने से भाई लाइक टारगेट इज 200 200 टू हंड्रेड ग्रेट सेवेंथ यू हैव टू सेट एन एग्जाम्पल <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah we have a fan of shreya ma'am right now hina i am very good 173 likes good what do we have yes or no yes only yeah oh nice theek hai take take 5 minute break Meanwhile, Ashwarya Ma'am is drinking water. Take five minute break. Okay, we'll meet when. Come meeting, I'm low. Are you here? Ah, two hours. I'm using my phone. Yes, we'll meet at nine p.m. At nine p.m., we all will meet. Yes. Cool. Let's meet at nine p.m. and meanwhile chhod ke nahi jana bhai bio is very important i am telling you theek hai go drink water you want to have some nashta nashta go ahead and you can bring your dinner also that's fine theek hai see you
everybody. Hello, good evening. Are you all here? Can you hear me? Can you see me clearly? Is the screen visible? Yes. Good evening, all of you. Good evening, and I welcome you to Baiju Six, Seventh, and Eighth Grade Channel. And now we will move on to the last leg of today's Olympiad class. I know. Today has been a long day. No, we had to solve so many questions, but don't worry about it. Today, now with the last ten questions, we will solve biology as well. And trust me, the biology questions are actually very easy because in this particular paper, right? They've taken a lot of questions, not just from seventh standard, but they've taken some from sixth standard also. So I'm telling you, super duper easy. I'm just setting up the poll and my screen. Otherwise, you'll be like, "What is this, ma'am? Sorry, sir." And Kriti, ma'am, gave us polls. You didn't give us poll, so we're quickly setting it up. Give me one moment, and we shall get started. Now I see that many of you who went for break have not turned up, but it's okay, right? Ma, we need one twenty biology questions. Are you ready to solve one twenty biology questions? If you are, I'll bring it. I will take more and more biology classes. Okay. So let me get the first poll ready, and I will show you the first question on your screens. Yes, yes, we shall get started. Ten easy peasy questions, not too hard, right? You got selected. Super proud that you got selected for level two. I wish you the very best. And to all my new students, lots of love to all of you. So let's have a look at question number twenty-nine. The first question in biology. So here we have a plant given to us, and you need to select the incorrect statement regarding it. So first and foremost, identify which is the plant here. Statement A says that leaves of this plant get modified in the shape of a pitcher. Statement B says that the hollow leaves of this plant are filled with digestive juices. Statement C says that this plant prepares its food through photosynthesis. What is option D? It says that it is a saprophyte, and the mode of nutrition that it exhibits is saprophytic. Now, all of you have started to give me the answers, and I can see here that option C is winning. Okay. So first and foremost, which is the plant here? The plant that you see right here is a pitcher plant, right? Pitcher plant is also known as a da dash plant. What is pitcher plant? Pitcher plant is also known as a dash plant. That means it is also known as a. Is it a parasite, or what do we call it? We call or we say it is a insectivorous plant, right? We call it as an insectivorous plant. Very good. Now, why do we call it as an insectivorous plant? Now, you see, pitcher plant normally is found growing in soil which does not have enough nitrogen. so it is found growing in a soil which is nitrogen deficient right so you can say it is nitrogen deficient why because there is very less soil i mean very less nitrogen in the soil yes so in this particular case what do you see we see that in order to get that nitrogen we see that it has modified itself right we see that the leaves of this plant has modified itself to form a pitcher and we see that this pitcher will trap right it will trap the insect that will come sit on it and inside in the hollow place we see that the they produce digestive juices that can sort of break down the insect right so that is why we see that we have an insectivorous plant so give me one moment okay so now the question is does this prepare its own food through photosynthesis now you see it is eating insects because it requires nitrogen to grow but does this mean that it cannot do photosynthesis it can do photosynthesis students it can do photosynthesis it is just that in this particular case it is only partially heterotrophic right it is partially heterotrophic now in case if you are not sure ma'am does it really do photosynthesis or no 
Look at option D. It says that it is a saprophyte and it exhibits saprophytic mode of nutrition. What is saprophytic mode of nutrition? It is when it is found growing on dead and decaying matter. That is not the case. No, it is not found growing on dead and decaying matter. That is in the case of fungi. So what is the answer? The answer is option D. Yes, answer is option D. See, the idea is that you need to figure out what is wrong about this particular plant that is insectivorous plant. This insectivorous plant is found growing in soil that does not have enough nitrogen. So what will it do? It will, it has modified itself to eat insects. Now, will I call it a saprophyte? What is a saprophyte? An organism that is found growing on dead and decaying matter like fungi. Which is why in this case, this is wrong. So, it, insectivorous plant is not a fungi, right? Or not a saprophyte. So, answer is D. Yes? Okay. I am still not keeping well for a very long, long time. It's almost been two months. But I'm still recovering. So, that's why it sounds a little cracked. So, please don't mind. Now, let's move on to question number 30. Now, given below are a list of few materials, okay? So, few materials like water, sunlight, water, cellulose, mineral, chlorophyll, oxygen, carbon dioxide. Now, first what do you need to do? You need to tell me what all is required. What all do we require in order for the plant to prepare its food? Yes? Okay. Now, the more Raj Lakshmi, I have already answered what has happened to me. If you keep making me answer again and again. Okay. What all do we require? Yes. What all do we require to do photosynthesis or for plants to do photosynthesis? We see that we require sunlight. Yes. We need sunlight. We need water. We know we need chlorophyll. And we also know we need carbon dioxide. Mainly. Right. Now, when water is absorbed, what is also absorbed along with water? We also, minerals are also absorbed along with water, right? So, in this case, if you see, option A says that sunlight, water, chlorophyll and oxygen. No. Wherever the six option is there, right? Wherever they have mentioned oxygen, we can sort of eliminate that. Because oxygen is not needed for photosynthesis. It is produced as a byproduct of photosynthesis. Which is why in this case, what do we see? In this particular case, we see that the correct answer is option C. Because any option which has oxygen in it is wrong. Right? Which is why the correct answer here is option C. So, very good students. Very, very good. The poll did not come for this, but it will come for the next one. Now read the question that is given to us. Here they have given description about X, Y and Z. It is given that X is used for biting and cutting. Right? We see that X is used for biting and cutting. What is Y used for? Y is a type of teeth which is used for crushing and grinding. So it is used for crushing and grinding. And what are we using Z for? We are using Z here for tearing food. Now can you tell me what is X, Y and Z and which is the correct combination? So very quickly I will run the poll for all of you. Okay. So let's have a look. This should be easy. Now whenever we have anything which mentions tearing or cutting, right? I mean... Biting and cutting, whenever you see, always tell yourself it's the front two teeth. How do you bite an apple? How do you bite an apple? You'll do like that. No, from the front you will take one big bite like this. So that is your front four teeth that are there, which is your incisors. So X right here is incisor. Now next, that means you can eliminate out C and D. Because here X is telling canine, that is not the case. Now what are you left with? You are left with options A and B. Now what is Y? How will you crush and chew your food? You will take it to the back and then you will crush and chew your food. Right? So in this case, what do you see? You take it to the back. And what do you find here? You find your molars. And how do you tear your teeth? You tear your teeth. I mean, how do you not tear your teeth? But how do you tear the food? You tear it with the help of 
canines, right? So what is the answer? The answer here is option B. Yes. So please ignore this bit of the question. Yes. So let me quickly scratch this part of it out. But the correct answer here is option B. Yes. Canine always remember the lion. Now here I can see many of you got the answer correctly. So well done. Super duper proud sending you three stars for the same. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Nutrition in animals does not include what? Nutrient requirement, mode of intake of food, utilization of food or mode of oxygen intake. Which does the, let's think of steps of nutrition, right? What will, not, what will nutrition in animals not include? This is a very easy question. Very, very easy. Now I know I'm not very entertaining like Saurabh sir. Saurabh sir is, you know, you, you guys keep telling, you know, be funny like Saurabh sir. So obviously I'm not like him. Okay, Anupam, I will keep that in mind. Yes. Okay. So now I can see that many of you have given me the answer. Now see, when you look at nutrition, right, or steps of nutrition, we know that steps of nutrition includes what all? We know that it includes firstly ingestion, right? Where we take in the food. And what does food have? Food has nutrients in it, right? So that is a part of nutrition. Followed by this, what do we see? We take it. We take it in. Then after that, what do we do? There is digestion where there is breakdown of food. So complex substances will get broken down into simple substance. After digestion, what do we have? We have absorption where it will get absorbed into the body and then transported so that it can be utilized. So we call this as assimilation and whatever is not needed is given out or through ingestion. So here for nutrition in animals, A, B and C is required. Is oxygen necessary for nutrition or is oxygen necessary for respiration? wherein glucose or food is broken down in order to get energy, right? So for respiration process, we require oxygen. But do we need it for nutrition? Not necessarily. So correct answer here is option D. Very good. Now let's move on. I can see many of you have given me the answer to this. Now, this is a question that I have solved earlier, right? I have solved earlier as well. So, this should be an easy one. Now, you have column 1 which has earthworm, human, prawn and insect. And column 2 may we have pulmonary, branchial, tracheal and cutaneous. Now, what do you need to do? You need to match it and then give me the correct answer. <coughs> So the correct match here is 4. Then what do we have? We have humans. How do we breathe? We breathe with the help of our lungs, which is called as pulmonary respiration, right? Or we use that term. Then what do we have? We have prawns and we have insect. Now we know that in insect, it mainly happens with the help of trachea, right? So we know that there are small openings in the side called as spiracles that lead into the tracheal tubes. So the correct match here is trachea. That means by default, we see that it is branchial respiration. So in this particular case, what do we see? The correct match here is option B, right? So the correct match here is going to be option B. So start with what you know. You know about earthworms, you know about humans, you know about insects. So this way it should be easy. Rachit, very proud that you're a gold medalist. So proud to have a gold medalist in class, right? Now let's move on to the next one, which is a flowchart based question, right? Human's bait is not branchial. See, human's bait is pulmonary. The word pulmon means lungs, right? So our main respiratory organ is the lungs, which is why we will match it. Okay. Okay. Now we have a flowchart given to us. Now based on this flowchart, you need to tell me what is P, Q and R. Very proud of you, Charan. Very, very proud of you. Lots of love. Okay. Now here what is given to us, it is given to us that what we need to identify is that it is a type of food item. Okay, if it is a food item, what will it be? It could be an energy giving food. Now if it is an energy giving food, 
it is soluble in water. So let's assume it is soluble. Now, if it is soluble in water, it will be P, right? So a food item which is energy giving and which is soluble in water. Now, there are only two energy giving food items. We have carbohydrate and we have fat. Now, between carbohydrate and between fat, which is soluble in water? Can you tell me? Which would be soluble in water between carbohydrates and fats? We know that it will be carbohydrate. So, P here is going to be a carbohydrate or any source of carbohydrate. Now, if it is not soluble in water, right? If it is not soluble in water, it will be Q. So, now we know it is energy giving but not soluble. So, that way it will be, Q will be fat. Now, we see that, now we have to go back. Is it an energy giving food? No. But it protects our body from various diseases. So, in this case, we know that vitamins that are there are a kind of nutrients which protects our body from various diseases, right? So, not see protein, protein, if it had to be protein, the keyword would be body building or they will use the term body repair, right? Which is why in this particular case, it will be vitamins. So, your P, Q and R we have identified. Now, here you need to identify an example where P is a carbohydrate. And we know salt is not rich in carbohydrate, neither ghee, neither pulses. Which is why purely based on elimination method, we see that the correct answer is option C, right? Wherein P is table sugar, Q is butter and R is carrot. Easy peasy, yes? Many of you have voted for B, but I think that's from the previous poll. But never mind, right? It's okay. Awesome, all of you. Let's move on. Now, this is from grade 6, right? This is from grade 6. Very, very easy question. So, we have few diagrams given to us that is W, X, Y and Z. And based on this, you need to select the incorrect statement. Now, see, what is given here? We have X, we have W here which represents tap root system while X here represents fibrous root system. Now, Y here shows parallel venation, while Z here shows reticulate venation. So, based on this, can you tell me what could be the incorrect statement? Now, option A is telling me that mustard, right? A mustard is a plant which has W type of root. That means mustard is a plant which has tap root. So, this statement is true. Now, option B says that ma'am, palm has a plant or palm is a plant which has Y type of leaf. Now, I don't know if palm has this or no. So, let me put this on hold. C is telling me that carrot is a plant which has X type of root system. Does carrot have fibrous root system? No. We know that that is not possible. As a matter of ca fact, carrot has a tap root system itself, right? It is a modified tap root. So, you don't even need to look at the other options. In this case, we know that the obvious incorrect statement is option C. Yes, this is very simple and easy. Now, look, I always tell you one thing. You guys know the concept, okay? You know how what the concept is and how to solve. But in Olympiad, right, in Olympiad, what you need to understand is how can you arrive at the answer fastest? So here, using elimination method and using methods of finding out easy ways to get to the answer, that is what matters. Because if this is a skill that you build right now, when you are in, say, 9th standard, 10th standard, 11th, 12th, when you are writing JE, NEET or competitive exams, this will become very easy, yes? I know in Aya, we just need to use logic, right? I know. Now, let's have a look at the next one. We have a figure given to us where there is an image of a joint, okay? Now, let's assess this image. Here, we see that there is one part which is fixed and the other one which can move around it. So, can you tell me which kind of joint this is? Yes? What type of joint is this? Can you tell me? I'll give you the poles right away. Awesome. Easy, right? 
so when there is one thing which is fixed and the other moves around it we call this kind of a joint as a pivot joint right so we will call it as a pivot joint now where will i find the pivot joint will i find it in the elbow no i find the hinge joint in the elbow do i find it in the knee no i find my hinge joint in the knee do i find it in my palm region now see again i find hinge joint at my fingers but at my palm region per se no right so where will i find it i will find it in the neck region and that's why all the possible movements that i am able to do is with the help of the neck so correct answer here is option b and many of you here have given me the correct answers so well done students well done now let's go on to the next one now we have some vitamins given to us okay p q and r and they have given us some statements about this so it <coughs> <coughs> sorry okay p q and r is given to us now it says that p is a vitamin which is necessary for maintaining healthy skin and improving night vision now q says that it is a vitamin that is necessary for making our gums and joints healthy right ignore this elbow and knee then what do we see we see that uh, r is a vitamin which is necessary for clotting of blood so what is the correct statement regarding them yes i remember all of you but please don't spam in class i request you not to do that okay Bridgesh, you know that when I when you say that I'm going to call your name, no? You guys have all found unique techniques in which you will get my attention. Now I also know. Okay, so now here, what is P, Q, and R? What is necessary for improving our night vision? Now we know that vitamin A plays a very important role in maintaining healthy skin and improving our night vision. what helps us keep our gums and joints healthy it is nothing but vitamin c right then what helps in clotting of blood clotting of blood is vitamin k so in this case what would be the correct statement p could be vitamin c no q could be vitamin a no r is vitamin b1 no which is why in this case the answer is going to be option d right what is it deficiency of p could cause night blindness yes because we know that deficiency of vitamin a will lead to night blindness which i'm writing as short form and deficiency of vitamin c will cause a condition called as scurvy where individuals will experience bleeding of the gums and last but not the least when there is deficiency of vitamin k it could affect um, blood clotting that's why the correct answer is option d yes so very good students i can see that majority of you have given me the answer now let's go on to the next one wherein here you need to tell me which is the incorrect statement once again you have four options from which you need to tell me which is incorrect animals who live in tropical forests where the temperatures are slightly higher have sticky pads that helps it climb trees we have animals living in desert that conserve water that pass out of i mean they conserve water by ensuring that the urine that they expel is concentrated so they limit how much water is expelled out through urine animals living in cold regions have thick layers of fat under its skin to provide insulation and last but not the least birds who live in polar regions they huddle together to keep themselves cool so in this case which is incorrect anushka you can ask me your doubt see there is no point in typing doubt you just directly ask what your doubt is very good very good i can see the answers coming awesome okay now animals which are found in tropical rain forests right see in a rain forest if you see we see that there are various trees right that's why animals in such forests have the ability to uh, ability to climb so in order to climb we see that some of them have sticky pads that will help them climb those trees so this statement is true 
Now we see that animal which lives in a desert. Now in deserts, we know that the temperature is very high, right? So in deserts, what do we see? The temperature that is there is very high and we see that there is very little amount of water available. So whatever water that they have, they need to conserve it. So how do they conserve? One such way is where they make sure that when they produce urine, they reduce how much water is there. So it will be concentrated urine. Yes? Now this is also true. Now option C says that animals who live in thick, uh, what do you say, cold regions like your polar bears, right? We see that for polar bears, we see that they have thick layers of fat under its skin that provides insulation or that will provide it with warmth so that it will not freeze in that cold temperature. So this is also true, which means that option D is incorrect. Birds which live in polar regions will not huddle together and become one group and say, okay, come, we'll hug each other and you know, we will become okay. No, if it is cold, what do they do? We observe that they have migratory patterns. That means in such extreme conditions, we see that they are able to migrate from one place to another to escape the cold. Yes? So in this case, this here is the incorrect statement. Awesome. Now we'll move on to, I think, last two, three questions. Okay? And then we are done. Now given below shows the percentage compositions of gases that PQR that are present in the air. Which among the following statements are is or are incorrect about these gases? Now we have P, Q, R and other gases. Yes? Somebody is asking me, ma'am, what about penguins? Will they fly? See, in the case of penguins, they have other adaptations, right? Now, if you look at their adaptations also, they will not huddle together. There are birds which have the ability to migrate or else they have some modifications in their body. But the intent is that the last option is incorrect, right? Okay, now many of you who are experiencing issues, right? Who are experiencing issues with the quality, I request you to go to settings, then go to advanced settings. There they will ask you for a specific um, resolution. Give 1080p or give 720p, yes? Shivesh, you are not blocked, bacha. Okay, so sweet Anushka, so sweet. Okay, awesome, and Bengal. Okay, let's have a look. What is P here? P right here is nitrogen, right? Oh, I'm out of the frame. This Vicom is very big, so by the time I start writing, I'm out of the frame already. So Q right here, of course, is talking about the second largest percentage. So this will be oxygen. And R, of course, is carbon dioxide. Now Q is necessary for us to get energy. Yes, statement is true. R is used as a fire extinguisher. Why P is important component? Yes. All organisms take in Q, take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. True. <clears throat> P, which is nitrogen, is directly absorbed by plants? No, right? P cannot be directly absorbed or nitrogen cannot be directly absorbed by plants. That is why we see that nitrogen needs to be provided or needs to be converted into a usable form. Which is why here the incorrect statement is option A. So very good. I can see that many of you have given me the correct answer. Oh, okay. So I'll end the poll and we will move on to the next one. Now here you have a diagram given to you, right? Last two, three, I think, not more than that. We are almost done. Given below or here, as you can see, this is the ovule given to you, okay? This is the ovule that is given. Now they have labeled some cells inside it. Now what do you need to do? You need to tell me which here is, is the egg cell. Now this is slightly tough, okay, this is slightly tough, but I'll give you a hint. The pollen grain, right, the pollen grain that has the gametes, right, or the male gamete, the male gamete enters from here. So if it has to enter from here, what would be the answer? If the male gamete is entering through the direction in which I showed you, what would be the egg cell? 
Now the X cell is the first cell that it meets, right? So what would be the answer? Easy. So here the X cell is nothing but S, right? Now earlier, I mean later on when you go to 10 standard, you will learn about the other cells that are there. So along with this inside the ovule, you will not just find the X cell wherein fertilization happens, but we also find other kinds of cells that are marked as P, Q and R. So we have antipodal cells, you have synergids, right? Then you have central cells. You learn about all of this in your higher grade, so don't worry about it. Ma'am, is the observable genetic makeup, is the observable product of genetic makeup and the environmental, that feels like half a doubt, no, Anushka? See, basically the genetic makeup of an organism, right, gives out the observable features, not just the observable features, but whatever goes on within your body. And yes, the environment does have an influence as well, but that is later on in 10th, you will learn in detail. Now don't worry about it. The chapter sometimes could get scary for you guys. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have a Venn diagram given to us. Okay, there is X which has the ability to breathe through its skin and breathe through its lungs. While Y here can breathe only through its lungs. So based on this, can you tell me which is the correct answer? Jaldi say, X could be crocodile. No, I mean X could be crocodile while Y could be whale. No. Surprisingly, even if you find a crocodile, right, you think that crocodiles that are there, they breathe through their skin. No. Crocodiles have hard scales and they can't do that. So, no. X could be dolphin. No, it doesn't breathe through its skin. Now, you have X could be whale. Now, dolphins and whales are mammals, which means that they actually breathe through their lungs itself. And in order, we also see that they have blowholes, which help them, you know, sort of survive underwater. So, not whale. Which means what is the answer? It is option C. Where something that can breathe through its skin and through its lungs is going to be frog. And we know that they come under the category of amphibians. So this here is the, they are amphibians that have this ability. While crows of course survive on land, so they breathe through lungs. Now let's go on to the next one, right? No, no, guys, I'm not giving you a poll because I want to finish it off. It's already gotten very late, no? So, Jaldi say you give me the answer in the chat itself. Yes, we will make it faster. Okay, now you have, see, this is a little tricky. Now you have L and M given to you. So, these are two images. Now, based on them, you need to tell me which is correct regarding them. Now, it says that L has granules in them while M, so what are granules? See, basically, granules that are there are these dot dot structures that you observe. Now, these dot dot things you can see both in L as well as M, right? So, what do you see? L has granules while M does not. That is not the case, right? It both have granules in them. L helps in transporting oxygen to the body while M helps in transporting carbon dioxide. Now, how many of you can tell me what are these cells that you see on your screen? Now, the cells that you see on your screen are the white blood cells, right? Now, if, you, if we take the blood of our body, we know that the blood has two parts. What does blood have? Blood has some cells and what blood has? Blood also has a liquid part which we call as plasma. Now, there are three kinds of cells. We have red blood cells, we have white blood cells and we have platelets. Now remember, whenever they show you image of a red blood cell, it will look like a disc, right? The red blood cell will look like a disc. While the white blood cells that are there will look something like this with this horseshoe shaped nucleus that is there. Shivesh, there is no pole, bacha. I am not blocking you. There is no pole. Okay, now pay attention. See, red blood cells that are there is what is responsible for transporting oxygen. Now, does this image look like anything which I have drawn? Does the red blood cell which I have drawn here, right? Does it look like the image that they have given? No, na? they have not given it. Which is why, what do we see? It is not option B either. It is telling L helps in carrying oxygen while M helps in clotting of blood. We know platelets are responsible for clotting of blood, 
right? They are responsible for clotting of blood. But platelets are very tiny and they have an irregular shape. So no, this is not the case. Which is why what is the correct answer? It is option C. That both L and M help in fighting diseases. Because what is the function of a white blood cell or a WBC? The function of a white blood cell is to help us fight diseases. Right? So correct answer is option um, C. Ma'am, if we no longer live, will we perform respiration? No. If we don't live, we are not surviving. Respiration, that energy is what keeps us going. So no, we will not perform respiration. Now let's move on to the next one. Last, second last question and we are done students. Second last question and we are done. Okay. Here, what do you see? They have given us some characteristics. Okay. That it produces seeds, it is a complete flower and it does cross pollination. Okay. Now, you have W, X, Y and Z. Now, based on this, you need to tell me what is W, X, Y and Z. First, identify that and then give me the answer. Now, there are three, four steps that you need to look at. Yes? Yes, sunflower, you can ask me your doubt. See, there is no point in just saying doubt, doubt. Give me the answer. I mean, ask me your doubt directly. Okay. Uh, Santosh, that will be difficult for me to directly give it, but you can share it in a Google Drive and maybe paste the link in the comments of this video. Yes? Okay. Ma'am, sunflower spelling wrong. Okay, I'll make that L. Ma'am, any logic? Ma'am, why is our body not blasting? Why will our body blast? See, you guys are being very crazy with your imagination. See, when your body stops functioning, it will shrivel, right? Whatever is happening in our body, eventually, if you see, we will start to shrivel because we are all made up of organic matter. Our body is not made up of anything explosive. So, we will not explode, right? Okay. Now, see. Here, how, do, how will I know how to solve this question? So, first, look at W. W is a plant which produces seeds. It has a complete flower. That means it has a bisexual flower, right? And it has all the parts, sepal, petal, everything. Then what do we see? We see that it exhibits cross-pollination. Guys, if you are here to spam, I request that you leave, right? It becomes very difficult when I teach, no? Okay. Now coming back, this is what is W. Now in this case, if you see, we see that the most perfect example that fits here is mustard, right? Mustard here has a complete flower. Sunflowers are not technically complete because it lacks certain other. It will not fall under the category of a complete flower, yes? Neither will maize and oxalis. Now if you look at the next one, we see that it produces seeds and does cross-pollination. Now, in this particular group, if you see, a plant which does is not complete. Strawberries has a complete flower. Begonia has complete. Pea has complete, right? But cucumber that is there is something which does not have complete. So, here we see that cucumber is the best example. So, from this, what do we see? We see that the correct answer is option D. Now, what is eutrophication? Eutrophication is a phenomenon or a process wherein, let's say in a water body, right, there is runoff. So, this water body has got some runoff of fertilizers and chemicals and everything. What will happen? They will all get accumulated here. And due to excessive nutrients in the water body, algae will start to grow, right? Algae will start to grow and they will grow excessively. So, we see that it will lead to something called as an algal bloom. And they will utilize all the oxygen and the nutrients, thereby killing the aquatic life. So, this is what we mean by this. Now, we'll go on to the last question for today, right? This is the last question. And in this, there is a small change, right? Something which I will just add, which my team has asked me to do. So, here the words are not italicized, which is why I will it underline the italicized words. A penguin's body is white in front and black on the back. It has, we see that this helps them to mimic. They have short, they have short and thick feathers to protect them from the cold. 
they also have almond almond shaped glands above the eyes that helps them filter out excess of water so based on this can you tell me that which among these are correct right can you tell me which is correct about them okay i can see today lot of spamming is happening what has happened you can eat no problem ho gaya last question okay what will happen to the gases in our body they will leave they will not explode right they will leave okay so see if you look at it a penguin's body is white in the front and black at the back that is correct only we don't need to interchange it so this is wrong right short and thick must be changed to thin and long why they do have short and thick feathers right so no eyes must be replaced with ears no we don't need to do it but here in this case they are saying that mimic must be changed to camouflage yes penguin's body is white in front and black at the back why because it helps them camouflage which is why in this case if you see the correct answer is option b so with the students we are done with physics chemistry biology and logical reasoning and as you all know we have completed a entire paper of olympiads right now i know that all of you enjoy practicing all of this right lot of you enjoy practicing questions and if you want more and more questions then what i would recommend is that you can download the byju's app so if you see the byju's app the link for the app is available in the description of this video and in that if you go there is a specific section called as mock test for all of you and in that mock test if you see we see that there are mock tests which are available for nso specifically along with that for imo as well you have mock tests that are available so for your level 1 level 2 exams you want more and more practice and you want it immediately you can go ahead and you can click on the link and download the app and as you all know the most latest paper is available now this is definitely going to be helpful so go ahead head and the most important part right it is absolutely free you do not need to really pay anything for this so with this everybody i am signing off i hope all of you enjoyed this class if you did do not forget to let me know in the comments below thank you everybody for staying with us till the very end hoping to see you all very soon up until then take care lots of love and bye bye